It is so difficult to imagine that so many people have to bring their work home before COVID-19. The idea of working and studying from home is not a notion that many companies and even organizations you know, would think of or would dare to give consideration to. However, given the fact that the COVID-19 pandemic is here to stay, working and studying from home have become the new norm for many, many people all around the world. And of course, for many, including myself, it is awkward at times. Sometimes it can be stressful as well, especially when we think of our homes as a place to wind down and to keep work-related matters as little, as low as possible. Imagine having uh, kids, you know, screaming at the top of their lungs in the background while you're presenting something important to your boss or to your lecturer, subhanAllah. So how can we reconcile between working from home and, you know, attending to family, our family and their needs? Especially when we're stuck at home for so long now, it's been two years. So brothers and sisters, this is the topic of today's discussion. We'll also be sharing our own experiences and how's the struggle like for us. Okay, so brothers and sisters, this is the Baraka Effect podcast, the weekly podcast that explores productivity tools and mindsets from the Quran and the Sunnah for us to apply them in our daily lives. We hope you enjoy this episode. We hope you find it beneficial. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa barakallahu fikum. Walau anna ahl al qura amanu wa attaqaw la fatahna alayhim barakatim min as-samai wal ard. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawmiddin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Lain wa sahlan brothers. Assalamualaikum. How's everyone doing? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Sunday night. MashaAllah, yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's been a while since we, we've done a, a night uh, discussion, huh? Indeed. Yes. Yeah. So hoping for a for a good one tonight. <laughs> Inshallah. 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 And Get your coffee is ready. Eh? Oh, Mashallah. Yep. Yes. yes. I, <laughs> yeah, you do. Alhamdulillah. Really Hopefully nice. you guys can sleep after this, lah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I can. I can. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Mashallah. And to the viewers out there, welcome to the Parakah Effect, the weekly podcast where we attempt to derive the pearls and gems from the Quran and Sunnah to turn it into a means of success in the dunya and our akhirah. So today we are going to, to discuss a topic which is relatively new and one that is most of us perhaps trying to still make sense, make sense of and try to make the best of, which is working and studying from home, challenges, best practices, and lessons learned. So it used to be a dream, right, of almost every office worker or maybe every student as well, having to go through the daily commute, having to sit in the office setting for around no less than eight hours a day, not to mention the overtime and you know, being away from the family and kids. So it must have crossed our minds before, you know, wouldn't work be that much more wonderful if it was from home, right? So <laughs> yeah. think of all the freedom that you get, you know, you can run your life on your own terms, you know, basically your time is uh, free to, to what your planning is, right? So uh, to put it into perspective, some forward thinking companies actually have already jumped on this idea and noticeably since a few years ago, I noticed some of my friends even, they have already had this arrangement even before, you know, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was some, some sort of like a trend and it seems cool that, you know, the employees that had more flexibility and there is more emphasis on that work-life balance and, you know, less commuting time and so forth, that it became like a draw or an attraction for people to join these types of companies, you know. But fast forward to the present day, Qadar Allah, you know, something came along that we never expected, which is the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, we were being tested with a very big test, you know, a, a pandemic that has rocked the entire world. 
So it really has changed the way we work, you know, and it hasn't been easy, uh, especially the ones who actually need to be out there to earn a living. Uh, you know, the, the, the ones who uh, earn your day-to-day -day living on the uh, selling uh, items on the streets and whatnot. You know, may Allah lift the pandemic and make us of the grateful to Him, whatever our situation is. I mean, I mean, and now as a result, at the same time, you know, for most of us as well, we finally get a, get a taste of you know working from home, as is famous term now as well as RWFH, right? Yeah, is a term now. <laughs> we get to live the dream now. Live the dream. Right. Right? <laughs> what, what, what does R stands for again? I'm sorry. R W F H. No, no, no. WFH. 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 Okay, okay, okay. All right. Someone actually came came up to me like. Uh, so you're you're WFH now? First, I'm like, why are you talking about? <laughs> so okay, I get it now. It's actually a term that people are throwing and using around, right? So, right. inshallah, it's is a sign of the times, right? And you know, um, since the since the pandemic started, actually, I came across this statistic the other day. Mm. You know, since the pandemic started, collectively, it has been around uh, 480 something days that we have been working outside of the office from, from our home. So wow. it's quite a substantial amount of time, right? It's almost like a year and a half, a uh, year plus, right? Wow. Yeah. As they, as they yeah. say, Mashallah. time flies yeah. when you're enjoying yourself, right? <laughs> 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 yeah. That's the quick question though for today, you know? Okay. Is, the is the grass really greener on the other side? <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> so that's that's the, the question that we want to discuss today. Um, in this episode, looking into what each of our different situations and our personal experiences and how we're finding it so far. And each of us has our own different situations and uh, some of us have kids also working. They're also working from home these days, right? So it's, mm -hmm. it's something uh, not so easy to handle, I would think. And you know, what are the learnings and strategies that we can pick up and implement to enrich the experience, to become better and to optimize the experience? And just to set the boundaries for today's discussion, we want to focus purely on the work and study from home perspective. Um, granted, there is that wider pandemic and lockdown uh, discussion, but what we really want to do today is really focus on the boundaries of um, how have we been coping, how we've been experiencing working from home and what strategies that we have learned and we have implemented to make it much better for our for ourselves. So without further ado, we want to start. Uh, so brothers, how have you guys found it so far? And just to give an insight on how the situation is like from your end. So perhaps we can start with uh, brother Abdul Aziz. Oh, you want to okay. share, share your experience uh, so far? <laughs> how are you finding it? <laughs> okay. I just, I just want to echo what, what, what you said that working from home is like a dream come true for me, especially. Ah, okay. But until the challenge, the challenge, the challenges come. So I thought <laughs> I was on a dream until it actually became true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> I thought I was ready for this. Okay. I because I I'm good in using most of the software like uh, uh, Teams, okay. ev mo almost everything, yeah. the gadgets, the equipment. But I was not ready mentally. Uh, <laughs> ah, okay. yeah. And then so it was not easy to adapt uh, from the office yeah. setting to to uh, the work, the home setting, right? Yep. Because at, at office, you when when you see your colleagues working and you you feel um, guilty if you're not doing the same like them, right? It's just like, uh, oh, they are so busy. Why what am I doing here, right? But if you're at home. Inshallah, you need a really high integrity <laughs> and this character of yeah self discipline, yeah, and yeah, sure. um, for the first I think for the first two three months I was badly procrastinating doing my work because it was so difficult to focus because I have my kids here. Mm. For the first the first um, lockdown was. My kid, uh, our 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 children need to be at home, right? Usually, mm -hmm. we we send them to school. So, um, the the responsibility kind of 
add up. I have to work, take care of the kids, helping my wife, and I don't know. Yeah, even my wife, right? She her her responsible is, I think her job scope is originally just two three tasks. Now it's like more hundred. <laughs> like <laughs> you have to take care of the husband. <laughs> <laughs> the sun. So you're part of the the job description yeah. now as well. Yeah. <laughs> During the day, right? Because usually she she have the time to rest. She yeah. even told me she have time to rest when this working from home uh, haven't exist. Mm. But alhamdulillah, we we discuss, but we still are learning. Um, and one of the challenges is uh, that during the day, my My children, they need to to use the dev our device to 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 online study. So we share. I have to stop work for several, mm. I think, two two hours every day, just oh, to sure. give them my <laughs> uh, my uh, my laptop and both both of them are using it. So I think that's about it. Shala, so so it's not not been that. Easy to yeah. to adapt uh, to to the the new normal, as they say. Yes. Uh, mashallah. Uh, so I guess next we can uh, get the views from Brother Amir. Mashallah, Mashallah. It is living the dream. It's one of those days, like you no, know, back then, when you ask for something for your boss, it's too good for him to grant and say that. Well, do you dream about it? So dream about it tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, so yeah. there is no no limit to that. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Now the dream is uh, appearing as a reality. Alhamdulillah. I'm actually I'm 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 just from uh, Allah's blessing that, uh, that Allah make it easy for me. And uh, working from home is something that suits my job description. It suits my my lifestyle. Mm. Alhamdulillah. It's uh, it's uh, it's I wouldn't say smooth sailing smooth sailing, but the the uh, there's always a way to 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 sort the challenges. And Alhamdulillah, I've been I've been um, enjoying it every minute. Since last May, uh, oh, like 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 in terms of like work life balance, yeah. I think, I think balance. Yeah? Number one, you have mm. more time with your family. Yeah, you actually you have uh, you 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 get more spark, uh, more more interact, more good interaction with your family members. So you like uh, for, with the husband and the wife, you have more more awkward. In, um, I mean, you don't have uh, you have more time to speak to one another about, mm. about things which are more trivial, like uh, the like. The pain in the job, in the house, uh, the, yeah. the, the anything trivial, uh, just pick, because there's no one else to pick up a conversation. Just say, hey, what do you think of this? Yeah? Like, uh, is this pen nicer than this pen? <laughs> Something <laughs> okay. like silly, but you just make a conversation out of it. Yeah, uh, you you learn to interact with your kids uh, with uh, baby 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 languages, like uh, yeah, which later on can be a challenge. Yeah, you, you might uh, talk too much with kids that you take for granted your your communication skills with adults. Yeah, so that's something you also. Uh, To be mindful, yeah, but it's fun, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you actually appreciate your 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 better half. So for so from, yeah, true. For people say from bitter half, <laughs> actually better half. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love the puns <laughs> tonight. You see that, like, yeah. uh, going, yeah. You can see the struggle with your half, eyes. Yeah, like, <laughs> you say, oh, how does how difficult it is for for to be a, like a like a like a homemaker? Mm. It's, it's, it's really, really difficult, difficult. Yeah. <laughs> especially now. True, true. The kids are not are all at home, and uh, mm. there's really no me time for them. Uh, their time is is all is all totally utilized for everything. Yeah, for it's either teaching the kids, uh, make uh, preparing for the for the for the family things like that. And then they say, oh, mashallah, yeah. they actually does a lot of things. Yeah, like uh, when I come home and I see the house in in proper order, there's a lot of effort going on be- behind the scene to get everything uh, uh, like uh, up and running, uh, like a well oiled engine. Yeah. <laughs> and, and for your body as well, yeah. The more time to schedule uh, some beneficial exercise, yeah. Mm. You you don't have to, you don't have to. Uh, you can do it uh, uh, lunch break sometimes before before starting up uh, early in the morning before before any meeting starts or or you can just take a short break uh, uh, maybe like four yeah and then yeah it's, it's more flexible when you have flexibility in my role there's a lot of flexibility I actually I actually start have to start work quite early. Mm. I, uh, my first meeting starts at seven. So I had I had I had to start reading everything by six thirty. In fact, I before I go to bed, I spend like half an hour just to get all my points, read all the reports, get all my points done. So tomorrow I don't have to spend a lot of time in the morning before before mo- before morning call. Oh, mashallah. So a lot of a lot of um, a lot of the um, the heavy stuff happens in the morning for for my job. So after lunch is actually quite it's quite mundane, yeah. Oh, so 
I can I can oh. can uh, work my my interest around <coughs> around that schedule yeah so it's nice uh, so I have okay. time for 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 hobbies like for instance yeah like uh, if you um, if you want to read a book you can just uh, uh, I can, uh, I can just skip lunch and then do that it's, uh, and it's it's uh, it's uh, it's it's easy <laughs> the, the shelf is just next to your to, to your table just pick up one book that's it mm, or, or sure. and also like uh, uh, if you have like 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 interesting hobbies yeah you can do it at home as well right? like let's say if you like cooking then you can cook your own meal yeah which you can't do it if you're working in the office yeah I mean, just as long as you're mindful of the time that you that you take like yeah yeah uh, and also I think one of the uh, good uh, the perks of this is actually it's on from a safety perspective eh, it actually lowers down your risk exposure that's Because, true mm. yeah no yeah. traffic yeah no, uh, less travel yeah uh, you, you, so that itself is a um, and also the the more time you can invest in in, in exercising and and do uh, workout yeah so and no need to lower your gaze in oh, it, yeah. and your gaze and your speech <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to rate your speech too much eh? <laughs> so alhamdulillah alhamdulillah uh, This is a blessing from Allah. We, we this a, uh, it's also a test, but uh, we make shukur for 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 all the the good things that Allah give us, uh, given us, and uh, sabar for 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 what is a uh, uh, shortcomings and uh, istighfar if we've done anything wrong lah. Yeah, so that that's in a nutshell Allah. how work from home has been for me for the past one and a half years. Mashallah, barakallah. Yeah. It seems like you've been having a pleasant time so far. Mashallah, yeah. The work from home. Alhamdulillah. And and you know, like it made me think. Um, when we look at one spectrum we have this uh, pandemic right people look at it as a as a very big um is a very negative thing but actually uh, also at the same time usually there are also a lot of hikmah behind it you know things that you didn't um, appreciate before suddenly you have that much appreciation for it when you are in that situation so it's something for us to think about Uh, especially for us nowadays, like look look to, to the the bright things in in our lives. You know, yep. it's always something to look forward to. So barakallah fikum, uh, brother. <laughs> Even yeah. the barakah effect is started because of that. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was also almost born out of um, our situation being a bit more different than usual, right? <laughs> yeah. Inshallah. <laughs> So, Brother Faisal, would you like to share um, your experiences so far? Okay, yes, sure, inshallah. So, for me, we also started working from home since March 2020. And just a bit of context. So, back then, my son was only two years old. And just just was just three of us at home. My wife, she was working, but she was working online. Uh, not quite as busy as me, but she was still having some responsibilities. So actually, honestly, uh, same, same, similar, exactly the same thoughts as you said in the beginning. Before that, I thought that working from home is like this ideal utopia, you know, like wow, wouldn't it be a dream job to be with my family? Don't need to commute. I can just do my job in my living room and be my family, you know, like so, so nice. But when the when the when the actual thing came, then we saw the how it feels like from the morning to the evening to be doing that for five days a week, yes. and what we don't see before we actually get commit to it is that it's challenging because now your home environment is also your office it's also your place of rest it's also where you eat and it's also where you your place of recreation and in the context of the lockdown right so this is like mm. you know <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so it actually becomes mentally kind of challenging in the beginning like how do you segregate this and uh, for me uh, I'm, i face a similar situation as brother aziz so I, which is I I I was I was struck with the very severe difficulty of pro- productivity, because the nature of the job that I was working on when initially when we started was I was in projects, so nature I think generally speaking you can split task into either projects or operations. I think Ame is more of operations, right? Yes, yeah, I'm more, more operation, yeah. Yeah, so the operations things are you have a routine and you kind of have, uh, and you have those firefighting things that you kind of mm-hmm. have to respond to. But with projects, you have to be a bit more self-disciplined. You have to be more proactive about your deadlines. You have to sometimes you have to do the work to, to trigger others. And sometimes the tendency is if nobody triggers me, it's all right. It's not the end of the world. So this is really 
<laughs> this is really, really difficult. It's, it's, it's easy for you to get lost in the, you know, if you don't yeah. pay attention, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, the, uh, but, but Alhamdulillah, I found ways, I mean, there's, there's a lot of self-awareness that I had to confront and uh, there are mm. tips and tricks that I had to, 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 to get away around it and how to improve myself and to be honest with myself. So we'll speak about that in the, in the, in the next part of the discussion. But yeah. yeah, it's been a very interesting experience. Mm. And actually, personally, in a, in a personal life, it in the, initially it was a bit difficult because yeah. can you imagine like, because my son was two years old at the time. And he's he's seeing his dad there, right? And then his dad's looking at the laptop. It's actually yeah. quite difficult for him to brain. Why does he want to play with me? What's, is it is it me? Uh, so, you know, like, right, right. So, Brothers, so can, can you just trigger me a very funny incident later on? Yeah, uh, and we will go deeper into this uh, into this uh, into this uh, topic. There's a hazard with kids and working in. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll okay. Take note of that. <laughs> yeah, please, write it, please write it down. Yeah, we need to hear <laughs> hazard that. Hazard with kids. <laughs> Has it, has it kids at home. <laughs> and it's, it's not just kids, but just to empathize with the wife as well. Because like, her husband is, a, is a, at home, right? So it's a, it's a nice presence. But at the same time, you're also kind of not there because you kind of work, right? Mm. So you, it's, and it's also, I, this is something that's been echoed by a lot of my colleagues, actually. A lot of the working mothers, especially, they always say that I feel guilty all the time when I'm working from home. When I'm spending time working, I feel guilty that I'm spending time with my children. But when I'm spending time with my children, I feel guilty that I'm abandoning my work. Oh my God! Like everything <laughs> is just so difficult. Wow. <laughs> okay. Mental challenge, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's taxing. It? But it's but taxing. everybody goes through it. And subhanAllah, like we, we, alhamdulillah, I, I found some solutions to that and how we can improve on those things. So we'll speak a bit about that. But generally speaking, after the months go by, I kind of found a groove to it and I found, I kind of, I eventually, I started to see a lot of good things from it. So you build on those good things and alhamdulillah, it's not just about getting used to it, but you kind of start to appreciate it as well. Because at the same time, the thought of going back to the office kind of has a lot of other drawbacks <laughs> that you don't face now, you know? You got to appreciate yeah. these little wins, yeah? Like, yeah. <laughs> hold your yeah. horses, man, you know? <laughs> I think later, when we go go back to the office, that's a new normal. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> to see who, yeah. who don't iron their clothes to the office. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's funny because I, I was, I was, initially I was like, petty things like, oh man, my electric bill is so expensive because the aircon is open every day, you know, stuff yeah. like that. But, you know, as time goes by, you start to realize that, oh, there are a lot of other great things that have happened but you don't see like what Ame is highlighting. So, mashallah, I think this is a really good discussion to talk about. Maybe we'll speak about all these life hacks and how we try to overcome them and maybe, you know, if we're still struggling with it, we want to hear from the rest of you as well if you have some ideas. And if we're still stuck, we want to hear from the rest of the audience out there. <laughs> <laughs> Help us out here, yeah? We're struggling too. <laughs> Sahih, sahih. MashaAllah, barakallahu feekum. I think we're really setting the tone now um, because there, there, there seems to be, you know, a struggle in the beginning and we are trying to do our best and how we are moving forward, right? Yeah. I want to turn our attention to now brother Shahmi, which was very unique. Yes, uh, brother. Compared to all of us because he's actually studying from home. And as a pitch to put to put it, uh, into perspective as well, <laughs> he's studying um, offshore from uh, uh, his his main <laughs> campus is in in Medina and he's in Malaysia. So you can imagine the time difference there, and you know you can just imagine how how much challenging it is. So uh, perhaps brother Shami, you can enlighten us on how has it been so far for you. Yeah, thank you, brother Reza. I still remember the first day when I when it is announced all classes were to be conducted online, right? The reaction from students were definitely mixed. Mm. Some who were oh. who were excelling in class, you know, the, the teacher's pet, as they say, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's teacher's pet, but those who are really, you know, inshallah, they'll be the ulama of the ummah one day, right? Mashallah. They were they were extremely sad. They were like, oh subhanallah, Allah musta. And so they were really, you know, showing their sadness. Well, others were ecstatic. <laughs> others were ecstatic. <laughs> okay. So, uh, oh, okay. Uh, admittedly, I was one of them. <laughs> <I'll understand. laughs> so, and 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 not only me. My wife was also happy. She was ecstatic, ecstatic because, you see, uh, my family and I we were staying in Medina. Uh, you know, it was last year, early last year, in fact. So, you know, more time with the family. You know, uh, she was happy because yeah, I have more time with the family. 
and she can delegate more chores to me. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we win. Okay. Yeah, we win. Lah. <laughs> we win situation, right? <laughs> yeah, so studying from home, you know, has challenges, no doubt. And yes, like, this is all, it, like, like the, the brothers have said, it's like a dream come true for, for many of us. However, many, actually, many are trying, you know, uh, in, including myself, we are trying to navigate working or studying, you know, remotely for the first time, right? I don't know about uh, uh, maybe, maybe some of maybe, maybe some of the wives, you know, they have been working online. But for me personally, I have I, I try my best to navigate, you know, this remote thing, you know, online thing, right? For the first time, you know, need I need to incorporate time and space with family and you know to to learn new technologies. You know, what is this Blackboard Zoom thing, right? I don't I don't even know back then what it, what this what it is. In reality, I have never be, even been on a Skype. On Skype before, I right. this this is just not my forte. This is not me. I don't I don't like to. I I I personally I don't like to call and I I prefer text messages. I prefer to send texts rather than you know to talk or you know what what more to say video call. Right. So there's that. Um, yeah. So it is difficult. And also after a few weeks of having this um, you know online classes. Uh, uh, to be honest, the first few weeks were not really bad. Were, were not bad at all. You know, I I I I felt like I got the hang of it. But after the first month, you know, I, I like like brother as as he said, you know, I felt like I was not prepared mentally. You know, I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the know how. You know, to to you know to prepare myself for what's what's uh you know what what's 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 to come. Who 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 would have thought that this pandemic would stretch until 2021 who knows yeah, right true. so it was it was really it was quite difficult so i was like I, i thought to myself oh man i really need to work this thing out you know which i'm uh you know i feel like when when, when i came when when we came back to malaysia uh somewhere around you know the mid, middle of last year a few months after lockdown in madina we came back to malaysia alhamdulillah after uh, a lot a lot of a lot of um Uh, you know, help from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and also from the consulate and stuff like that. Uh, we came back to Malaysia, and so the 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 real challenges begin. You know, um, for instance, that I have to I have to really choose the right session for me. And Alhamdulillah, University at uh, Madinah University and the the universities in 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 Saudi Arabia, they they have uh, you know they they let us they give us the freedom to choose whether. We would like to be in the morning session or the evening session. Mm. When w- when we were in Medina, many chose su- some not many but many uh, some of them chose to be in the evening session because why? Because you know um, wake up uh, late. they have been pardon wake up late. Ah <laughs> yeah that, that's 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 one <laughs> okay. that's one but most of them were you know they, they were they were earning side income so you know oh. uh, back. <laughs> Do you remember those days when 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 Umrah and Hajj was a thing? You know, yeah. <laughs> okay, you, yeah. okay. Yeah, you 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 go there and then you know you you help people to you guide them right, guide, okay. guide them okay. in, in the Prophet's mosque. So they were doing that in the morning. So they chose ah. to be the uh, evening session. I see. But okay. since we came back to Malaysia, everyone has to choose the morning session because why? When it's 8 a.m. because it's between us between Kuala Lumpur and Madinah, there it's five uh, five hours apart. So if it's 8 a.m. in Medina, uh, it's 1 p.m. here in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, so my my classes start, um, you know, most of the uh, most of them start around one 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 in the af- in the afternoon, and it can stretch up till seven seven in uh, at uh, in the evening, seven in the evening. Uh, some, alhamdulillah, uh, it's not uh, you know it's not from one to seven you know straightforward without any. Without any breaks, of course there are breaks, and also I, uh, we we are like I said, we have been given the freedom to to choose our classes, right? So yeah. my classes usually a day, I would say maximum three classes, maximum three classes, and um, the rest of this, if you can choose properly, if you can choose wisely, that's that's the the perk of having you know. Um, friends and uh, friends and classmates that you know that, that that are brilliant in this kind of things you know so i i actually seek their help to like oh, help me can you can you can can i see your schedule or how how's your schedule like uh look like right and then uh, they will 
they will uh, you know uh, happily explain to me okay i i do it like this i do it like this so i have actually more time to spend with my family so this is this is how i try ah, to so you, you know your own life hack group huh <laughs> yes yes oh, mashallah <laughs> alhamdulillah nice. nice. alhamdulillah so so you can choose your own timing for your for your classes huh yeah alhamdulillah yeah. mashallah alhamdulillah okay. nice. back so, in my uh, mid, mid, my, my uni days yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really hope I had it back in the uni days. Eh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> back in our uni days, it was just, okay, you come for you this know, one. There's no question. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 what, but, but but we did have those choices, remember? But it was mainly like first year, second year. Oh, true, true, yeah. True. yeah, yeah. At the third true. year, fourth year, once you get a bit more specialized, then there's like no choice. Yeah. You either come yeah, or you true. don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but mashallah, but, but Shahmi, um, is your f- third year or fourth year now? I'm, subhanallah. I'm, I'm, oh, in, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm in, the, I'm in my fourth year, the, la- the final year, the final ah, year. So mashallah. So oh, in, mashallah, your, in your system, still the fourth year is still allowed is flexibility. So mashallah, that's really nice. Very accommodating yes. to the student. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. It's good. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. 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 These are the, these are the wisdom behind you know having this pandemic, right? Uh, you, you, you might not know these tricks or these life hacks as you, as you guys say it. <laughs> yeah, if if this pandemic were not to, uh, wouldn't happen, mm. you know, uh, subhanallah. And also. Yeah, like you said, uh, Brother Faisal, it this such a blessing in disguise that you mentioned that um, you know they they give us the freedom to choose you know the cl- classes, this flexibility, right? So when you said that, it, it now it just occurred to me like the other universities probably wouldn't have wouldn't have this type of freedom. So oh. so one life, uh, I I really I'm I'm grateful for having you know having this opportunity to study there. So anyway, like. Um, Brother Reza said, "It is it is mentally challenging, you know, to to have this uh, you know work from home uh, or study from home, right? Mainly because the condition at home is not as stressful as the condition in classrooms. Uh, that's that's for me. Uh, that's that's my op- uh, opinion. So yeah, you heard it right. The condition so, in classroom is more is more stressful for me. Stressful. You know is why? It's a positive stress or a... It's a positive stress. Yeah, ah, there, there you okay, go. Okay, positive gotcha. stress, <laughs> right? Right, right. right, right. Even stress play plays an important role in our lives. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, is true. it is stressful in classrooms. You know why? Because the teachers, you know, most of them, most of them are really active. You know, this these are the the later generations of the the mashayikh or the teachers. Oh. They were not like the the the, the kibar or the, the 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 elderly scholars of the uh, you know. Of the um, maybe in the 70s, the 60s, right? So how are they different? They they actively engage with the students, which I don't see um, from from the from from the teachers who are you know really old in age, the kibar. Mm. They don't really have that. The younger ones, the 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 new the uh, the ones who just you know obtain their PhD in in in, in Sharia, for example, they are the ones who love to engage with the the, the, the students. Mm. So being an introvert, I, I was uh, yes, I, I was a, I am an introvert, introvert. But alhamdulillah, I I can speak <laughs> now to you guys here. Alhamdulillah, that's a the, <laughs> that's that's a small <laughs> win for me. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, yeah. So the stress here is that the teachers might the teachers might ask you, the teachers might ask me, you know. I'll put you on the spot, randomly. Uh, randomly uh, yeah. Like okay, <laughs> ah, Anta, you you over there, you know, with the glasses. Oh, when I look behind, there's no one else. It's me. Yeah. It's, Did you try to remove you. your glasses? Did you try to remove the glasses? No. <laughs> then suddenly a cold sweat comes. Uh. Cold sweat comes. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the challenging part is not being called to answer the questions. The stressful part is to have to translate Malay English answers into Arabic. And ah, to, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, subhanallah, uh, that shows my... My vocab is still, you know, you need to some improvement lah. Many improvement lah, actually. So yeah, these are the some of the challenges that I face uh, when when in when in when in uh, class. So this stress, this this is good stress, like Brother Faisal highlighted, right? This good stress actually helped me to focus. Help every one of the every one of my friends, the, my classmates, to focus. I think they all have this, you know, a positive stress going on in their in themselves. But when you, when when it comes to studying from home, studying online, you don't have this stress. You don't have this stress. If if the teacher ask you, uh, ask me or anyone, you know, you can just uh, you don't you don't you don't you don't react to it. You know, it's it's really it's really not, not not something that I recommend. But you know, this is one of the challenges that we have to overcome, lah. Uh, when when it comes to 
studying from home, you be uh, for, for me personally, I be I became a bit more, you know, um, how do you say this, uh, reactive rather than proactive lah in 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 that session in okay. in uh, online classrooms. Yeah, but only mm. recently I got to you know I I I told myself that I need to I need to step up. I can't I can't I can't forever be like this. Because I have been like this for a very long time since I since I was uh, in 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 in, um, in high school, so Subhanallah. So these are the, some of the challenges that I I highlighted, and I don't know. Hopefully, it can it can be. Hopefully, those of you out there who might you know who might echo this uh, um, you know these challenges, you know they might they might share some more some more tips. To help us to improve as well, me students like us, inshallah. I don't know. Allah I can share Allah. something about, about, about learning online, yeah, during this yeah. The working from home. At about positive stress, I I can relate to to the situation. Mm. Like uh, sometimes, yeah, like uh, uh like okay, uh, a particular uh, learning center called ba- ba- Baitul Rahma. So they always have classes, but for uh, for the common people, but right. for this pandemic, they open up classes. Uh, for their student, which are still children, along with the with the with the public, so sometimes I do and join those, those classes, yeah. And then, and so different than right? the same teacher teaching the same subject can be so different in their approach. There's so mm. much stress when there's children in in the, in, the, in the class. <laughs> the, the level of questioning quizzes comes a lot, and and then and and before that, when the class is only public, you think you you, you think you have learned so many stuff. Wow, I'm I'm really. I've learned a mountain today, mashallah. Like, a, mm. but, <laughs> but you only with all the the the, the people that, the, who's also working yeah, together. But when you have children in that class, the level of stress the teachers give to that student uh, to that environment makes the uh, makes the learning more actually uh, more beneficial. But it put a lot of stress on other people on, on the on the on, on the uh, the normal the working from home guys. So because the kids right. come in, they memorize everything, and then the ustas will put that on the on them on the spot. See, what did we learn last week? Can you tell me? Can you can you remind? Can you can you call back? What was the worst? Then the kids will just answer. I'm like, oh please, Ustad, please don't please don't ask me. <laughs> so, yeah, suddenly mashallah. you're getting beat by the kids. Huh? Oh, mashallah, mashallah. <laughs> yeah, actually, 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 brother, brother Ame, that's that's how that's how the 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 teachers here in in Madina they that's how they uh you know do a quick revision when when it, when you know, uh, the next class comes and then the first thing they will say, okay, tell me about five conditions of blah, 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 something. Okay, you, you. <laughs> so you can imagine, you know, I, I memorized the answer in, you know, uh, our language, our own, you know, Malay and in and, and, and English, right? So right. <laughs> to to actually, uh, unless I I have written it down because the teachers sometimes they speak a bit too, too fast, you know, on the on, on the fast, fast side. Lah. So, subhanAllah, I, Yeah, it's really difficult and it's actually really stressful, huh? brother. Me, but, but like you, you, you gain the most the most knowledge out of it, yeah, I assume. Compared yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Alhamdulillah. Good things come out of uh, good pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Totally. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Just to um, uh, carry on with the fact that what brother Shami mentioned about the the nature of a good environment, right? You know. We we don't realize it perhaps before that you know our office environment is actually very conducive for work, and and so when the the pandemic st- first started and then we were started working from home, initially I, I had an idea like most of the brothers here that it would be oh, mashallah this is what we've been always wanted to try and this is the time to uh, to be to be some try something new right, but. Yeah. When we started out, it felt like um, you know something was missing, some ingredient was missing, in the sense that you don't have that instant interaction with your colleagues. Um, you don't. You need some feedback straight away, and you usually usually just just shout over the, the counter <laughs> call <laughs> like hey, cubicle, <laughs> yeah, cubicle, right? <laughs> cubicle. And, you know, it's very instant. It's very dynamic, and yeah, even true. even our bosses, you know, they they just across the across the floor you can just instantly go to the room and just so it's a very quick and very dynamic situation in the sense that a lot of the things are efficiently uh, get, getting done 
Yeah. But suddenly, when you're off, offline in, in your own workspaces, Habdillah is good. There's a lot of uh, good small perks to go with it, as we will perhaps discuss, inshallah, uh, in the upcoming sections. But at the same time, there is some, it feels like there's something missing from, from that. You are, you're just on your own and you are interacting on the, the team's platform. It's good, but it's, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't uh, do the trick, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you, you know, little things, right? Like, for example, you want to go to the pantry, the the water cooler, get some water, right? On the way to the pantry, you see somebody filling the timesheet. Say, oh, oh crap! I've got to do it. Uh, <laughs> you know, just stuff like that, you know. <laughs> like you're on the way, you're on the way to the toilet, and then you see somebody. Then, oh yeah, that guy owes me something. Hey, bro. Uh, what's the thing? <laughs> you know, like, but but if you're on the teams, yeah, it's, you don't have that trigger, you know, that that physical mm, proximity to like, right. oh, trigger. So little things like this, you you don't. Like if you, you don't feel it un, un, yeah, until yeah. you're there. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So exactly. And they and, and they can choose. They want to reply you or just to ignore you, right? Ah. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's right. That's right. That can be frustrating, right? <laughs> when you're in front, face to face, they can't ignore no you. Choice. Yeah. No, no choice. choice. They con it. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, being in that productive environment, it's like having reference points whereby you push each other to to uh, to do better and to to uh, there's a certain element of subconscious competition going on yeah absolutely in the sense that okay um there's a productivity level it feels like okay yeah, true. You, this, you're here to work right yeah it happens to me all the time like i walk past somebody like he's doing simulation I'm like ooh what are you doing <laughs> like, <laughs> and i just you know like casually bring coffee check. hey what are you working on eh? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> or like I'll go to another guy's place and I see this stack of drawings and like, whoa, this guy's productive. You know? <laughs> <laughs> productive or unorganized? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> but sometimes <laughs> when you're in, in, in working from home, yeah, I, I have uh, one or two colleagues which are, uh, we, we, we work on almost the same thing and, and we usually discuss a lot among ourselves. And so, so we, yeah. We create like a formidable team just between ourselves, right. and we still continue that, that that chat until now. Like sometimes, okay. uh, every other day, we just pick up the phone and just say, hey, "So how's it going, man?" The, or you know, Amir, uh, this project, that project, and say, okay, what's how's what's up? I mean, we have that interaction very, very, very frequent. Yeah. Uh, so it usually started with with work, and sometimes it ends up with family, a lot of things. Uh, but, okay. but uh, we, ha- we still have the com- uh, conversation because it keeps That's you great. keeps you mm. in check. Like uh, what's mm. actually going on in 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 in, in, uh, in, in the office, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you try to have that at least one guy, one guy who 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 you can who you can have yeah. that 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 open conversation with, yeah. Yeah, because you know, an organization it's like a fabric, right? Sometimes it's made up. It's it's really made up of the people in there and how they work together to achieve a certain target or goal. And suddenly, if you are working in uh, your on your own, that essence can be lost, right? Yeah. So so that's one aspect. Uh, but alhamdulillah for me so far, um, the the nature of my job requires a lot of mobility um, to do with it. So we always usually, if it's the, in normal times, we will always travel to different sites or client offices. So our nature of the job is always, we just need our laptop and uh, a good internet connection and we can work anywhere. So alhamdulillah in that aspect, it's, it's uh, good. <laughs> And the Teams platform works well in that sense. So there's a lot of collaboration in, in there. Uh, and um, Alhamdulillah, it's manageable so far. And what I'm finding from, from working from home is that, as the brothers mentioned before, there, there are the positive side of it. There are little perks that suddenly pop up. You know, Suddenly, you have more time in the morning to, to do uh, beneficial things such as uh, your exercise routine or whatnot, you know, and that that helps in having a good work-life balance. So, so the positivity aspects that people were talking about about working from home before, they are, they are, we could experience it as well at the moment. So, it's yeah. nice to experience, and there's a lot of pros and cons to it, as of course. So, um, uh, I guess without further ado. Inshallah, we can go to the next section of the discussion on, on how, what are the challenges, what are the, the strategies that we can implement to, to uh, be better at working from home. Because it seems like we're going to be in it for the next 
uh, foreseeable future, uh, looking at the current situation for the moment, uh, inshallah. So, so perhaps we, it, it will be beneficial for us to to talk about the strategies and how to be better at it. So, anyone want to start with uh, their challenge or their strategy? Can I start first? And just to include a joke, just now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so here it comes. <laughs> but it's about boundaries, about, about establish, establishing your boundaries at home. That's very important. It, it's not easy. It's, it's challenging for me. It took a while before my kids actually understand. Okay, this is Papa's boundary at work. Yeah, my table yeah. is my boundary. Nobody comes here and and <laughs> and and do it because I got I got all my 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 meeting notes scribbled. I got a. Uh, All the uh, all the um, I have a post notes I put on in front on, on my wall in front of my laptop has been replaced by uh, by drawings and cartoons <laughs> and everything has got replaced. Yeah? <laughs> and 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 twice I got I got I need to call the IT help desk because they tried to uh, to figure out my password. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> some hackers in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mashallah, <laughs> is is your workspace in a room by itself or is it in the open living room? Okay, so so this twice of uh, when I was in my parents' place, it was in a it was in a dining table, along with all <laughs> oh. my brothers. So we were okay. Okay. We were, alhamdulillah, we, we happened to to be home at the same time, and then the pandemic started and the MCO started. So there's all no right. place to go. Nobody can go outside. So everybody everybody work in the, in the, in, the, in the dining on the dining table. So that one was a bit more challenging to to establish boundaries, yeah, but eventually that, we got that's it. Very tough. Yeah. Yeah. But very when tough. I'm back in Miri, so I, I I work in my in my room. So it was a bit more easier, yeah. but still doesn't mm. doesn't stop. The uh, the hacking the password. Hackers, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. So so the IT Little help hackers. desk number it, it's it's right on my on my on on my wall right now. So <laughs> and it makes it harder when like they do it at night uh, in the morning. Seven yeah. o'clock, I got a meeting and yeah. so I can open my my laptop at seven o'clock. Oh. It's six <laughs> I gotta call my my friend. Hey, can you just pull me up? Can you pull me from into the conversation via my phone? I have to like like to recall my memory. <laughs> so that's a yeah things challenge funny part yeah. Uh, and if it, uh, yeah, they, they learn you gotta uh, yeah, be tough on them on things like this. Yeah, but a bit more discipline. Yeah. But I'm that they, they 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 understand that. Yeah, so yeah. boundaries very important. Boundaries. So, yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> I get a good similar that you experience. Mention boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. I get but a that similar is... experience like Amir, because our our right now because we are um, working from home, so our I I C T our I T I T department <laughs> they. They kind of be serious on the cyber security, right? They will mm. just send this email just to test you. <laughs> yeah, true. Right. true. Wow. Yeah, we're it's getting the well. phishing <laughs> test email. Right? email. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and one morning, I I was opening the I was just uh, kind of read that email, and I'm I go I I was going to the I was I go to the toilet, and then <laughs> and then my son, he. Uh, my my seven year old son because he he can read right the the email says click here and then he <laughs> click <laughs> oh, and, uh, there's some IT guy called me that, that how come you don't know this this uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you need you need to to set the boundaries for your for, for your work mm. you need to tell yeah. your son and tell your child yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah boundaries that's true. are important in that aspect, right? Because, because mm-hmm. otherwise, you know, there, there. I guess this is something that that we learn as we go along. Like initially, also, I I was working from the dining table, but it doesn't it doesn't jive for the long term. It doesn't feel right, right? So, oh, oh you want oh, always feel own. hunger. Ah, <laughs> that's yeah. another thing. You're always going to the fridge. <laughs> Put password to the fridge, fridge door. <laughs> yeah, so I guess, so I guess this is one of the tips that I want to advise. So try to have honest, transparent communications with those in the household, like where are your boundaries and what's your times, and especially because one of the things, um, yeah, alhamdulillah, like uh, Shami said, oh, wife is happy, right? Because he's around to help, but also you kind of have to be honest, like what you can do and you, what you cannot do. And I have to admit, these kind of conversations are not easy, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, uh, like, like, bro, you like do something, right? Sometimes they have that kind of thoughts. But I think you, once you have this, and once it's done, it's very easy. Like w- once you've settled that, and that misunderstanding is clear, and when the situations come, at least you know how to handle it. Like, okay, I know, I know which. Ring, um, for example, like simple uh, firefighting issues. Maybe if there's a tantrum, this one inshallah is okay. 
But maybe if you want to do something like a, a very long, long something that takes a long time, a chore that takes a very long time during office hours, you kind of have to say, oh, this one, we can't do this in this time. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I guess sometimes it, it's very easy to forget that you're actually working. You know, it looks like you're sitting down in front of a laptop, but you're actually working, you know. It's like, so one of the things that I, for example, I tried to train myself because actually just like Reza and Ame as well, in, initially I used to work in the living room. But it was not ideal at all. Yeah. It was very. Uh, it was difficult for me. It was difficult for my family. And it was difficult because I had to. I had to push them. Out. I had to like. Oh, I have. I have to work. So it wasn't a very friendly environment. So I realized. Okay, the best thing to do is just stay in a room, and, and work accordingly. So alhamdulillah, we had that. We have that uh, privilege to have that isolate that that uh, dedicated workspace. So one of the things that I used to do when I work in the living room in the in the first actually couple of weeks as well, yeah, quite a few weeks. I used to wear work clothes at home, just to mm. tell my <laughs> just to tell my son. <laughs> this is two year old, right? You can't really differentiate. So I say, okay, um, oh yeah, uh, Abah work, you see, Abah is working, okay. So when Abah one time Abah finish work, Abah open this, then we can play. Then oh, okay, he can uh, understand. It works, it works. Like, he okay. can understand. Like oh, like, like their visual cues, like oh, this guy is serious. Okay, I'm just gonna play with my mom. And then it's like oh, five o'clock for example, oh five thirty whatever you know. So uh, get get to our play clothes. Okay, let's play. So. Yeah, that, that that works, but after a while, once they got into the routine, then it, there was no longer required. So it's kind of like a teething hack that I I I I, I tried. It but it's a great idea to that. Eh? Just from my experience, yeah. Chal. So so yeah, yeah, like my wife, she she has like online classes, yeah. So sometimes it have it coincide with the meetings I have. Oh. So oh. The, the the difficult part is this: when when your toddler, uh, child needs to go to the toilet, and and, and I work in I work in the master bedroom. So she, because the rule is always like, she needs to go tell the mom, and the mom will bring her up. And, and but sometimes she just can't help it. She just goes straight up, and now I'm in the middle of the meeting. Yeah, I say, where's where's mom? Where's mom? I say, ah, I need to go now. I need to go now. Ah oh, man, this is like the most like, you just you just had to help her with the with the with what she needs to do, and you just inshallah make dua Allah. Hopefully it's not my time to speak in this meeting. Yeah, you don't want you, you don't want. People to hear like Niagara yeah. Falls, whatever in the background. Yeah? So, <laughs> so you just have to like uh, <laughs> put it, put on my earphone, put it on loudspeaker, and then uh, yeah, help her with all the things that she needs to do. Mm. And then they tell me, oh, well, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta change where you where you study." Yeah? So so now, yeah, then she changed. So so now my wife, she needs to do online classes. She 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 set her place near the near the staircase. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> so it, gatekeeper! Kids, gatekeeper, exactly. No, so nothing goes past me without me knowing. Eh? <laughs> Mashallah. Mashallah. And on a bit on a on a serious matter, like like working on a dining table. So this is a uh, me and my brother. So my brother, we work for different companies. So one thing we talk about like like uh, sensitive documents. So because mm. like he 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 does tenders and I and I have projects. I have things like this. Yeah? So we at first we we didn't realize this like because when we work we. Quickly get grab lunch or something. We have papers on on the on the, on the table, yeah. And I don't want him to see my 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 documents. And he doesn't want me to see his documents, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, okay. Put uh, put it in the in the bag. <laughs> see, like if you, <laughs> or yeah, put it in the bag. <laughs> so I don't have to see you what you're doing, yeah. Unless, unless it's something to do with you, with uh, you're fine with it. I mean, it's no conflict of interest. And the kids are not gonna go and uh, and, and scribble on top of papers, yeah. So I don't want my kids uh, to scribble on his papers, and, and he doesn't want. And likewise, the same. I'm surprised yeah. you still have this thing called papers, yeah, I mean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes all Some, PDFs now, right? That's right. Sometimes you know, physical physical papers are much better to work on. I think <laughs> that, that they can be soft in, for I think ergonomics right? because like the, in 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 the office you have those big monitors, yeah. Yeah, which you like when I went back to get, I just, I just have to live in my laptop, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, true. So, uh, papers. When you look at all those big documents, right? Oh uh, yeah. So papers I, are I more like. Yeah. Or the work is not gonna be done. Yeah. Mm. Papers are more like souvenir of the past now. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Remind, <laughs> reminding reminding myself office, what it used to office, be. My um, office. Let me bring the the big monitor to, uh, at home. Ah, oh, nice. Allah, 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 Allah. This nice. is a Inshallah. big difference maker, actually. We, we huge, are actually huge. we're missing missing this big monitor. <laughs> Subhanallah. Yeah. The multi screens, uh, the multi monitors, or oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, speaking about pro- work productivity in general, I just want to maybe just give a general comment about this. So what I've experienced based on my conversations with my colleagues, with my with some of the bosses and uh, my friends, is that it 
impacts people differently. A lot of people, they are equally or even more productive, but some people are very badly imp- imp- inflicted with this. Some of them, they go into their bad habits mode, day after day, procrastination mode. So I think as leaders and managers, we have to really be sensitive of this. Eh? We have to really understand because you're not quite in touch with them. You don't see them physically. Yeah? So mm-hmm. you can't assume that everybody is kind of like getting used to it and getting used to the new normal. No, there has to be this... Um, this contact and to to realize that you know, so and I, sometimes I, I to be honest I do tend to get annoyed when sometimes you know the the leaders or the management they say oh we're able to work continue working from home with no hiccups uh, mm. huge cost savings but under the surface there are so many things that are happening you know so for example I, I know many of my yeah. colleagues both husbands and wives are working and then you know in the context of the pandemic the schools kindergartens are closed so can you imagine both are working. Yeah from their laptops yeah. and their children are at home and watching devices at school and they mm. have to supervise their children to study. Mm. Ooh, yeah. it's tough. It's really That's tough. Easy. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Tough. I know that... Very it, tough. Yeah. yeah, it's really tough. I, I know there are some who are clinically diagnosed with mental illness because of these kind of stresses because it's, it's kind of like they, they, there's no way out. Like, there's no end yeah. in sight to their situation, you know? So, subhanAllah. And some of them I know, it, it, my colleagues right now as I speak, they have to take turns with their, with their husband if they have infants. Mm. Or like they have to take the half day half day off in the morning, and the husband takes the half day off in the in the afternoon. Wow, this is really challenging, yeah. Mm, Spanola, because, Spanola. Yeah, so Subhanallah, we have to understand that the people like this situation is not the same for everyone, yeah. And then also yep. because a lot of manpower has been retrenched, the workload has increased. So if you're not somebody who keeps in touch with people on the ground, you think like. Bro, keep up, man. Like, you know, <laughs> the, the, the insensitivity right. is so easy to get into, right? Indeed, indeed. Yeah. And then what I've, what, have I, what I've experienced when I was back in the project team, because I've, I've switched those roles now, but back back then, uh, it looked like we were pr- producing the same output even though we we're from home. But what, di- what they didn't see underneath was because the economy was so bad, projects got slashed. So we were working half the projects at the same time being half as efficient. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> right, right. Uh, so, yeah. so it kind of dropped with the efficiency so it didn't, didn't seem <laughs> any, any... Yeah, no hiccups, like right? right? Yeah, yeah. So, luckily, luckily. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We were, we were saved by that. Whoosh, you didn't see my unproductivity, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> but, subhanAllah, the lesson I learned from this is we have to be very careful about these words that we use. Right? Oh, we incur huge cost saving. Uh, you, there's a lot more things that we have to really... Like, there's not, it's not apple to apple, yeah? So, you yeah. know, subhanAllah, like in hindsight, I remember there was one engagement with our with our vice president of hum, human resource. So a question was posed like, uh, can we work from home? This was back in 2018, I think. Can Is, is the company going to consider a policy of allowing people to work from home, especially for the mothers? And the answer was like, you know, uh, for working from home, there, there needs to be a level of trust. Mm. And then now in 2020, it's like, boom, everybody has to trust each other. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so generally speaking, I just this is my observation so far. And maybe just to share, I, I don't know if you guys can relate to this. Do you get more productive working from home or not? Okay, uh, for meetings, I would say generally speaking, yes. If it's done well, when everybody is present, ah, keyword, ah, when everybody is present, i.e. no... Instagram knows YouTube and all that. Mm. Yes, it's a lot more productive because I can easily hop to meetings with people from Kuala Lumpur, from Sarawak, from overseas, different time yeah. zones. Mm. Like it's easy, you know, I don't have to I don't have to arrange travel. So fantastic, that's really good. And one thing I really like is that because you know everybody's working from home, so everybody's everybody's contactable. So if they don't reply to you, they are purposely ignoring you. Back then, <laughs> so back then they can kind of ignore you as like, oh sorry, you know, I was you know I was doing I was here and there. So, hey bro, everybody's at home in front of their laptops. Come on, like, you know? so, so yeah, this is what this is one of the things that I, I find very productive. Meetings wise, it's productive. Uh, but for the technical work, oh, for me, it's a lot less productive. I don't have the colleagues and seniors to ask for guidance. Yeah. I and like uh, Amir highlighted, I'm actually glad that somebody's still using papers. I miss papers, man. I, I, I PDFs is so difficult to navigate around, especially without yeah. that second monitor, right? Hashtag yes. first world problems. But <laughs> <laughs> it's even bad for the eyes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> Subhanallah, yeah. Subhanallah. <laughs> and then yeah, you know, it's Subhanallah. Like, um, uh, like for example, you don't have that uh, that that secondary yeah it's just not it's just not the same so i find like uh, in 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 that technical work it's not that same level of productivity so you kind of have to find ways to around this and how you can improve that but i, I think the mm. the general the general 
thought here is that we have to be aware of the situation around us. Yeah, don't like just assume that it's flat for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I think for for me, yeah, like a. Uh, okay, this is because we actually double up the 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 amount of uh, uh, output of the work that we did in oh, this double. one year. Okay. Double up and and we okay. use that as a justification. That, Look, boss, work from home works for us. But actually, but we did we didn't tell them the whole picture was this. <laughs> nobody shut. No, nobody from my office is listen. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully, can they can work on because when work from home started, yeah, we actually we uh, the, the, the my boss is really understanding. So we actually re- realign our KPI. So. We we look at things which we can uh, batch, which we can do like cookie cutter, like like uh, like uh, what can I uh, uh, co- copy and paste. We we do okay. it to the maximum. So we've okay. so a lot of work can be done. More work can be done of the same nature. So okay. you don't have to think a lot for 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 new procedures. So we we really like pull on all this kind of work, like all those mm. backlog work, uh, backlog of words of similar uh, nature. We completely like uh, nail on them, like completely like. Uh, oh, you and, find and, a way, you found a way how to automate them. So automate that, exactly, yeah. So, so right, we do right, right. a lot of those kind of work, okay. and and uh, and uh, things things which are more uh, more novel, like right? in the, in a in a failure method, in the repair method. This one we take a bit more, we take a step back. We say okay, this one we are, we 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 focus and we 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 tackle it in a different method, manner. But where we can where we can uh, what you call it, the word for it uh, where we, where you can emulate where we can uh, uh, imit, uh, duplicate, duplicate, we do that as, as much as possible. Yeah. So mm, less mashallah. less process. Mm, so mashallah. so because of that we we, we do more work. Uh, mm. uh, yeah. But but, Actually, but that's ex- sorry. I'm just I'm just curious. Like that means before the before the working from home thing, you could have done it as well, right? But but working from home accelerated uh-huh. that, is it? Yeah. So because these are based on risk level. Yeah. So certain all jobs are based on risk level. So we we put all the jobs out there. Then we then we rank them. Okay. Okay, like before that, it's just purely on risk. On risk, but now we have risk and how easy was it was it to be done? So that's but, another but, level. To... So before working from home, this was not something that was in consideration, yeah. Is they that... were only they were only looking at risk. Oh, they were looking okay. purely risk was the main the main thing. But now we put another another uh, variable, which is a, uh, a feasibility of it to, to be done easily. And say, okay, now we have a campaign. That's oh. that's that's target more jobs of of the same nature. Then we can do more more things. Oh, so yeah, okay. <laughs> and then while at the same time, well, well, because well, we work on the first job, yeah, which of the same job, same nature, well, probably you're gonna get us three, four months, yeah, and if three, four months, we don't have to think much of of that job, we can use that time to plan for the next job, which is gonna execute next year, so we we can take a bit more time, more, more breather to to plan, yeah, and make hopefully make less mistake, mm. uh, something like that. Shalom. But 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 one needs a a very understanding boss, <laughs> a boss <laughs> who can who can who actually. Talk to his boss. And, okay, I'm sorry, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this. <laughs> hmm. I think that's what's needed as well nowadays. You know, it, it can't just be you know status quo from what we were from before, right? Yeah. Everyone needs to adapt to become better in a different way, and st- things like that. What brother I may mention, uh, things on productivity ex- is accelerated, and you know, you 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 do things differently. Oh. So. So that's that's something of a good uh, perspective looking into it, right? So yeah, <laughs> mashallah. Also speaking about productivity, right? So one of the things that it it looks like it makes it because you can easily hop on one meeting after the other, right? So it looks like you are being more productive in a sense where you can easily enter different settings quickly, right? But there's a catch to this. Because sometimes it, there's just so many now that it starts to overlap, right? So for me, there was a time where it became so much overlap where I had to enter one meeting in my laptop and one in my phone. And, uh, <laughs> and, then, okay. and then, but after a while, I was thinking like, I, I, this is unproductive for both meetings. I'm not contributing in either one. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> this is absolutely right. ridiculous. So I started to realize that this we have to understand that multitasking is not helpful. We have to kind of focus on one And because our minds can really only, you know, be quality work at one thing at a time. So I find mm-hmm. it a lot more merciful to say to the other party, look, I can't join this. So you that start delegating. And then it's it's much more organized in that way. So mm-hmm. that's just something I learned. Like you, multitasking is just not an efficient thing. And this is something that I learned also in my online courses. People, this is called task switching. Eh? So actually people think that it's more efficient, but it's actually less efficient. Because when you're switching your brain all the time, the time it takes to get the job done sometimes even doubles up. So yeah. <laughs> not an advisable thing. Something I, uh, I, for my team, yeah, uh, because we have a uh, we have the same problem. Yeah, we, we are all like working fathers with with small children. <laughs> we right. have all these like kids 
needs to go to the doctor one day, whatever, like, all these problems <laughs> you have. So what we do is like, we always uh, put everyone copy in each other's email. yeah. And we always say, okay, sorry guys, uh, then, then we always chat like, in the WhatsApp. Like, hey, I can't, I can't attend this meeting. Can you, can you, can you help me with this? Oh, Mashallah, that's then, good. And they always, we, we always help, help one another. Like, okay. uh, then, but okay. if he help me, then I will try my best to help him on his next uh, meeting. Yeah? So, I mean, oh, have that. Okay. Like, so, so everyone is copied. It's really good. Uh, of course, the one who's copied is not going to have the same level of focus. But before you actually step out, just, just, just call him and say, okay, I, this is what we have. And tell what's your strategy to, to enter the meeting. And say this is this is the what we if it's a win this is the co- condition if it's a uh, uh, if 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 you need to compromise uh, this is the compromise we are gonna make okay all the best mm. then then we <laughs> then we trust each other like if you, oh, if if we can if we can make really good. if we can make the the win okay we you try your best no worries we we work on the on the on plan B I mean that's that kind of a but it has uh. to have like a uh, that that has a lot need to do with relationship all things like that yeah mm. mashallah yeah. mashallah. That's where that's where relationship comes into uh, real importance, right? Because because you uh, also depend on other people. And like coming back to what Brother Faisal mentioned, going into multiple meetings, right? Actually, if you imagine you're in the physical office space, you won't be able to do that. So you know, yeah, exactly. There's, there's no reason why we should do that when we are <laughs> in a virtual <laughs> setting as well, right? So, but I I do see this happening. Uh, in my with my other colleagues as well because you know things they, they are they can't divide themselves sometimes it's equally important so sometimes it has to be done i don't know but <laughs> perhaps, <laughs> perhaps perhaps that's uh, not a good practice i guess that delegating delegating yeah perhaps delegating is will be the best best but thing but my organization there's this uh, uh, in the previous generation and some departments have this issue when they delegate they get used to it and then the, the guy who got delegated Continues with that job while the guy who's uh, firstly doing that task just escape like that, like like a ninja uh, and behind the smoke screen. Right. right. I mean, especially, when, that. especially if the the guy you delegate um, is better, right? That's right. right. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Good point. You should have some shame like that. <laughs> some little contribution. <laughs> he helped you. You gotta help him back like that. There are two sides to this. So it's delegation is one thing, but it's also work planning. So the reason why all this is stacking up so much is because people are just giving so many last minute invitations and then you know you have to shove off something that you've planned in advance so that's not fair to that person also but if people really start to be a bit more proactive plan in advance one week you know I I tell I, I tell them to my colleagues every time before the week starts the friday I will look at my next week and usually my when I outlook for the next week my calendar always looks relatively free But when the week actually starts, <laughs> Allah al <al-mustan. laughs> Where did all that free time go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Expectation versus reality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Subhanallah. I think, I think one thing as well is like, this is applicable for working and studying from home is to really be present. Yeah. Subhanallah, think about work, <laughs> doing these things online, right? There's there's so many easy ways you can, you know, like, for example, I'm in, in, a, meet, in a meeting and then I can just have these side conversations. I can check my email. I'm doing work yeah. stuff, but mm. I'm completely zoned out from the meeting, you know? And I can <clears> tell that a lot of people also do the same thing. So suddenly, sometimes when you're talking <laughs> something, then people are like, you're waiting a response from them. Uh, uh-huh. It's quiet. It's quiet. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Ache. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so annoying. Right? Can you repeat that? <laughs> And one way, one way to know that, uh, um, if the meeting ends, right, they are still in. They're still in. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, guys. I will, we will adjourn the meeting. So And hard, they know, are still one, in after one hour. <laughs> one of my teachers, you know, recently in in uh, the, um, the the classes that I have been taking, right. Yeah. He's really he, he's really someone that is you know easily annoyed by 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 students who are not present you know they are present by name but I don't know where their 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 soul and their minds are somewhere else <laughs> right. no yeah. that is why he, he one of the one of the tips that he actually provided us you know more like a, 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 a tips I would say he repeatedly say say to us you know. Always, always, always find a dedicated space for you to work or learn. You know, don't let yourself be distracted by anything. Right. If you can't come to class, then you don't. You you better not be here at all. He said. Then mm-hmm. you better not be here at all. He said. So he was really strict in, uh, in that sense. Okay, mm-hmm. but, but does he make but, it mandatory to open uh, to for people to 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 show on video? I no. mean, to have them on video. No, alhamdulillah, none of the none of the, none of the our teachers uh, put that as an as something mandatory. 
Only oh. whenever he whenever he ask you questions, whenever they ask you questions, then you have to answer. You have mm. to answer accordingly. So one of the things that the, this particular teacher, um, you, know, uh, you know, strikes me the most is whenever he ask a question, right? He ask a question to several students, but the same question. If student oh, one doesn't answer, okay. doesn't answer, he will say, "Oh, this guy is sleeping." Okay. <laughs> so the second student, okay, um, maybe his name is Abdullah. Yeah, Abdullah. Yeah, Abdullah. Okay, answer. And then the uh, Abdullah will say, "Yes, yes, uh, teacher, I'm here." Okay, answer. What was the question? Allah oh. He said, and then, <laughs> Allah. Allah. <laughs> yeah. So these these are the things that, and then and then by the end of the the class, the teacher Allah. will say one more time, like, if you don't, if you please, 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 if you have something better to do, don't attend the class. Mashallah. We have re- we have it recorded. Oh, nice. We have it recorded. So you listen to that. So you listen to that class. You listen to the recordings. So. <laughs> it's Funny. like the sheikh. The sheikh is used to online class, right? <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been a year. I think he is used to it, lah. Uh, there's, so, there's one tajud teacher from Baitul Rahma, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so he doesn't quiz, yeah. But what he 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 does, yeah. He he like randomly he say, please switch on your video cam, show me your notes. Wow. Uh, okay. oh. <laughs> oh, that's you another level. Show your notes. Okay. All right. Good. Good. That's one so, another what, level. And then, yeah, what's what's point number two? <laughs> Yeah, actually, that, that's one aspect, right? You know, uh, part of the etiquette of seeking knowledge, for example, is you have you always have to be present, you know, by taking notes. And, yeah. you know, there are certain etiquettes, uh, especially when seeking knowledge, uh, uh, yeah. taking yeah. notes and being, you know, having the proper demeanor towards the teacher. And mm-hmm. just because it's being in a virtual condition now, it doesn't mean that all that has gone... Uh, You know, you neglect all those things. It's still yeah, yeah true. It's still a big and yeah. and also it's it's something important because you know doing that actually it's not just for the teacher. I mean, uh, it's not just for yourself. It's it's also the baraka of of doing the the right thing, the proper etiquettes when mm-hmm. and seeking seeking knowledge. And this also extends to the workplace. Yeah. Um. You know, imagine uh, you are doing your work, but you're doing something else. Yeah. Um, It's 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 not uh, let's say befitting to have that situation whereby you are not focusing 100% when you are you have that amana uh, on in your hands to to uh, carry out that uh, that work. So there's one aspect that being present is very important, especially working from home. Yeah, it's also interesting you mentioned that because I have this tendency of zoning out also. So number one, what I have, what I, what I do is I chuck away the phone. Like complete mm. my productivity completely changes with and without the phone. <laughs> I I realize that. Oh, so yeah. that's number one. <laughs> you too, huh? yeah. yeah. So actually, one thing as well, even writing, right? So you, you highlighted about the etiquettes of student of knowledge. Actually, I find it the same thing as well in meetings. I find that if I I start writing things down because I meetings that are very important, I I do write it down, and those are the ones that I really get the benefit from, and I can really contribute to those. Mm. So yeah, mashallah, mm. this it sounds very old school. But subhanallah, and, and writing it down, yeah, it's not the same yeah. as uh, typing out notes on your notes because you can also do that. But mm. typing out on notes doesn't have that same, you know, you write it down, you can put stars and, you know. It's you, hard-coded. Uh, ah, it, it has this <laughs> mental etching, you know. like So so mm. I, I find it very beneficial, yeah, actually. Yeah. So I, actually, that's something I only started, started doing this year, actually. Started doing diligently this year. Not for all meetings because uh, there are a lot of them, but mm. usually for the more priority ones, which I feel, oh, definitely, you know, that has to have more I do that. I do that as well. I I oh. put, uh, I, I, I do notes on paper and I would transfer it um, to laptop. Words, uh, yeah, in, in words, the laptop. Okay. Yeah, mm. mashallah. But to Something be fair, right? Yeah? So, sorry, I'll just add one point. To be fair to the students who supposedly zone out in, in these classes, right? Most of them live in parts of the world that the connectivity is really bad. Oh, so when okay. so so these are the ones who their, their their alibi can be accepted by 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 the teachers. Like you said, okay. oh sorry, uh, sorry, Sheikh, my uh, the, the the connectivity was really bad. Mm. But those who use the same alibis, they use the same excuse. But they're in the US. But they're in the UK. This is these are the ones who, you know, make made. <clears throat> makes the, you know, the the, the teachers, you know, I doubt the, doubt <laughs> the students, doubt the <laughs> students, you know. You understand what I'm, uh, what, what I, what, what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 
this one <laughs> lah. I think yeah, that's zoning out from uh, not not being focused in the in meetings. I think that's a real issue. Like, but for me, I I I tend to to I think it takes a lot of bravery to read to cancel meetings which I think I'm just going to be peripheral. I'm not going to. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. I like that. I just I just okay. take, I just say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not going to attend. Yeah, this is general productivity tip. Yeah, mm-hmm. people think that being productive is about doing more. In reality, it's about doing less unproductive stuff. So that's one example actually. If you uh, feel like, like you're just uh, you're not like a third wheel there, like you're completely no function, you might also well just be just be upfront about it. I'm sorry, I'm, just, I'm not going to attend yep. this. Yeah, actually, no, I'm not going to attend this. Yeah, mashallah, <laughs> just wasting my time. <laughs> But also like like uh, this is perhaps like uh, the additional motivation to to work more efficient is like. Uh, Because now when you are working from home, you have kids. Uh, distraction from other things, yeah? yeah. So family is one yeah. of it, yeah? So if you have free time, try your best to finish as much work as you can. So you know, oh, right. my, my children's class is yeah. going to end at, at 10.30. I, I'm not, I got free time from 9 to 10.30. Come on, man. Do as much as you can, man. <laughs> you right, 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 right. And focus easy. time, right? Wow, mm. Betul. Focus. Focus. Get, put KPI a milestone. If I can do five, at least these three, I, I got to need it by today. Mm, you know, right, that, right. Inshallah. Yeah, because yeah, the situation is not a, an, a perfect situation. Sometimes, People, uh, things come up that it's we we are outside of your control. So, when it's it's in your hands, uh, you gotta you gotta do the best that you can as much as you can and optimize it. And then, inshallah, when when you have to address something else, then you've you've done the, your part already. So so that's that's one good tip to to get uh, you know get going. To do yeah, more actually, things when you have free time, yeah. right? Yeah, just to add to that as well. Uh, this is really good. This is something that I, I find very beneficial. I should do it more often actually. Is to do this daily checklist of what you want to do. Uh-huh. So what yeah. tends to happen is because once you start the work day itself, you're gonna go into firefighting mode. You're gonna respond to people. You're gonna you're gonna attend meetings. Like, so what you want to do is before you start, you want to make sure you you get in line the important things like five, six, whatever task. And break it down into very, very simple and achievable things. To me, like, for example, a proof claim that, that takes like one minute, but it's still a task. Yes, <laughs> I have to yes. You know, like, yes. <laughs> like what, a, what gets scheduled, get done, right? Exactly, exactly. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, and, nice. and you see, you want like, for example, let's say you want one day you have six of these check uh, checklist items, right? So when when like Ami said, you have that one hour, one hour window, pam, let's get these six stuff in that one one hour window, or else. If you once that one hour window comes, then you're gonna start thinking about what to do next. Oh, trust me, you're gonna, you're gonna drift. You're gonna. <laughs> it's it's not gonna be very productive. So get organized when you do have the time, so that once you once that that free time comes in, you just pop 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 you just get it done. And there's a term for it. Maybe Shami can correct it. Taswif is it? Taswif De- delaying is it called? Yeah, taswif. Taswif. Yeah. Procrastination, right? It's one of the uh, tasket uh, tasketun right? One of the. Uh, <laughs> they say this is the danger that you need to fight. It's a uh, taswif. Dealing. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess because if you have a checklist, right, and, and it's worth doing that, like at least 10 minutes before you start any any day uh, of your work, because that will set the tone for the rest of your day. Mm. And to tick off these boxes, sometimes uh, it feels like you are it's winning something. Yeah. Winning, right? Oh, yes. you know, it's, yes. it's exactly. Productivity, right? Yep. Yep. Suddenly you, you tick one box. Oh. I need to do more. You know, it, yeah. it gives you the the motivation to do more in, uh, throughout the day. So, and so let's say imagine if it's five things, yeah, and you got five things done, which is five things is not that much, right? But still, you can reframe it as like 100% completion. Mm. That's right. I'm <laughs> the <laughs> boss, right? <laughs> and, and That's so, really good. Also, maybe maybe make sure work because it's operation. I can I can really my job. I can really I can really segregate cluster. Like this is. Super important and this is super useless, not important at all. Okay. Right? okay. I can I can have that kind of a checklist. So I I only I only do the the important ones. They're, they're, oh, they're, so you have to do list and not to do list. Nine. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> to do list and uh, uh, this is if I have time I'll do it. Usually I, I'll wait until the very last moment. That deadline is tomorrow. Okay. Okay. But nobody's prompting me. I'll I'll be late. Because <laughs> 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 like, to me that job is doesn't uh, it's not it's not doesn't give much value to me. So I. Uh, Put it right to the very end. <laughs> so it uh, doesn't disturb my, my yeah. schedule. Right. Yeah, that's an aspect of organizing as well. You know, organizing is very important, especially working uh, outside of the office. Yeah, right. So I think one more thing that. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, one more, just one more simple tip that we that we tried to implement recently is to do weekly huddles, weekly meetings. So before this, kind of like people just have their own deadlines, work their own pace. But I realized that if you do this, you kind of like. 
it's, it's it's difficult to tell what's really going on. So we schedule a meet a weekly meetups. So actually, normally if you look up online, right, these huddles normally people recommend it to do it daily. But for mm. us, it's not it's not feasible to do it daily because mm. it's flexible working hours and then people have different tasks. So we at least we do it weekly. And subhanallah, there's a lot of benefits to doing it because number one, like you're aware of what, what each other are doing. And number two, because when you, you make it very brief, yeah, you at least know, okay, what, what Riza is doing, what Aziz is doing. So at least it gives you some awareness and you can like expand your knowledge now and you can create this 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 yearning to learn. So kind of like you, you have this feel, fear of missing out as well. You kind of have right, this worthy right. rival thing going okay. on <laughs> in your head. So I find it yeah. very, very, very useful. And you also, do it in early the, the the early week or by the end of the week? Ah, uh, we do it by the end of the week, so that we end of the week, right? Uh, so what we, what we do is like we say, okay, what have you done for the for for this week, mm. and then what what's the outlook for next week? Okay. And, then, and we put one more indicator. Do you feel that this week is overloaded, just nice, or underloaded? So, so this is what we're trying out. But the idea is what what I want to try and induce within the team is that. If we know that we have some extra load that we can carry and we know somebody else who has a lot of work, we can offer help. So we kind of yeah. want to cr- have this cross uh, cross task, even though everyone has their own respective job areas, but we want to ha- induce this kind of collaboration to build teams together as opposed to everyone just mm. sticking to their own zones. So I, I find mm. it's very useful actually, like just to do it a few weeks and then have this awareness, this communication going on, builds a better team. And it helps a lot of people who are struggling with productivity. It helps when you're like, you're on your toes. You're like, oh, now I have to think about what I have to do next week. Think about what I've done before. So it kind of uh, helps that part. Lah. And also this, this uh, one thing like the, uh, my, my team is doing is to, we actually improve on the on the uh, uh, data sharing, the, the, the like workbook OneNote, the, the one we're using in migration. So, so we make sure that it's personalized and people do park, it, park their, their work inside. So uh, because, because most of our work, we have maybe a team of four and our work are interrelated. So what I do will, will, uh, will be used by Mr. A and Mr. B. And what Mr. B does will be used by myself and Mr. C. So we always okay. share, share, share this in, in, in one, uh, one space. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, and, and we, we try not to criticize others. As, and I, I don't, we seldom criticize others actually. Uh, so, but we just want to, but palm, like it's called palm, palm sendiri like yeah, Amir, okay. you this one, so okay, Amir, get a summit. Okay. <laughs> but but we, what we we try to do is that so to to instill more pride, more people are more proud of this of this uh, not not sharing a uh, space is that we kind of like uh, come out uh, some some uh, financial benefits to to, to the boss. Hey, so your boss like. What we are, what the four of us are doing, yeah. We saved the company this much money, yeah. Okay. So we, yeah, they so like to see these figures, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, so we feel like ownership out of sight, you know, for for these simple things, so like, like, uh, <laughs> Mashallah. They're having so much value. Uh. Yeah, but, uh, even though it's actually it's a simple, just it's a simple thing, yeah. But you, you, the way you market to the boss is like, oh, this is actually a very important tool, yeah. Well done, guys. Mashallah. Mashallah. <laughs> yeah, so speaking about this weekly huddle, uh, some of what of our teams do is that they have, because actually mental health is becoming a big thing uh, from this working from home pandemic yeah, thing, exactly. right? Yeah, mm. exactly. So what, 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 for example, the department that I'm in, Alhamdulillah, I'm very grateful for this. They have this, they, this kind of weekly, they call it Sembang Petang. And uh, another division that I've, uh, I, I got to know, so they have this uh, week, uh, weekly wellness sessions. So they just just simple sharing like one guy just share their hobbies or another person share their articles. Uh, I was invited once, so I, I gave a topic about gratitude. So I just did ex- exercises about reflecting what we are grateful for, and that, and I just did an exercise where okay, why don't you be grateful towards each, towards each other? So stuff like this it, it introduces a lot of uh, like to, to 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 ease the the burden of the working environment and. Subhanallah, like small things like this, like if you do it consistently, uh, it can really raise up the morale. Uh, for initially, when when the team did it, they they didn't think like it was very effective, but when we did the survey, it turns out like wow, everybody loves it. You know, like it's an avenue. Like don't talk about work for one hour. Like just talk about stuff. So yeah, that 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 that's very. Uh, we found that very Fleshing, useful. Mashallah, mashallah, yeah. mashallah. It adds an a human element to all of uh, the 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 team environment, right? Usually, yeah. perhaps sometimes in the office, it's just work and then go home, work and go home. Mm-hmm. There's no none touching on that. And to mention, um, to pick up on that mental health, this is really important to to speak about um, nowadays because a lot of for a lot of people. Um, it's not such a pleasant experience working from home. They are, you know, every day is the same thing and then there is no clear boundary from work and rest, work and play. Yeah. So sometimes 
people, um, there's a lack of scheduling or perhaps in the work environment, the organizations demand more from you because they know that you're always available at home. And therefore, um, there is the element that people might burn out, but at the same time, they don't have anywhere to go to because they're stuck at home, right? So mm -hmm. there's that element of uh, cabin fever, you know, kept stuck in a place where ah, you cabin get, fever. get restless and then yeah. you don't have anywhere to turn to except you're just there. So, mm. so burnout is a really, really um, real thing, especially talking about um, working from home nowadays. And you see, you hear it every day in the news that uh, cases of depression or cases of um, people... Suicides. Yeah, su even suicide. Maybe suicide also has to do with the 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 fact of uh, the greater pandemic in it per se. But also, you know, it's not easy to to juggle uh, work and, for example, kids also at home. Some people might find it yeah, difficult. True. Yeah. So, so I guess perhaps some ways to cope with it, with uh, having a good mental health or mental fitness, is to uh, do regular exercise. This is a very instant uh, thing that everyone can can do. I mean, even if you can't go out, you can do exercise at home. And what exercise does, you know, in, if you schedule in a proper routine uh, for every every other day, for example, go for a jog in the park. So you've you've started the morning right, and you know what exercise does to you is give you that uh, boost in terms of your. Um, uh, Endorphins, right? Endorphins, your your hormones that gives you pos positivity, mm, and yeah. and that sets you up for a good work day. And you know, it's it sometimes it work can get heavy, but it's also a good stress release when you exercise. It's, it's yeah. something that's you know um, keeps you in check. So that's one tip, perhaps, to um, implement for everyone that have an exercise routine. And the mornings are the best because. Uh, you started that your day right, and perhaps to start it off might be difficult. But once you get into the routine, I promise you, is is a very good feeling to start the day with an exercise routine. So yeah, uh, I yeah. totally agree, man. Like this is something I do <laughs> yeah, a lot after Fajr every day. Yeah, but 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 basically, I think to generalize this, right? I guess the advice here, especially for our product, because to me, I've always I'm a firm believer in taking a proactive approach in mental health. A lot of people like think about when there's a problem, then you seek help. Mm. It's like physical health. Don't tell me you want to wait for the, car the cardiologist to tell you you have a problem with your heart, then you're going to start do taking healthy measures, right? Take, take a proactive lifestyle. So you should, same thing with your mental health. So generally speaking, I think that one of the best tips that I feel that's product that, that uh, can help for us is to get into a productive morning routine. Yes. See, the Prophet yeah. says, like, make dua, yeah. right? Yeah. Allahumma barik li ummati fi bukuriha. Oh Allah, bless my ummah in their mornings. Inshallah. There's a lot of barakah that you can get from that. So, you see, the thing is, right? Okay, let, let's let's park the, the, the whole working from home for a side for a while and re just recall back how our experience was going to the office. Actually, we don't realize, right? The mere act of going to the office, that sets us up for multiple different habits at once, actually. If we wake up early, we clean ourselves, we groom ourselves, get some chores done, maybe get some breakfast, we commute mm. to work on the way to work. You know, if you if you utilize your commuting time with something beneficial, maybe listening to a podcast or reading a book or reading the Quran or listening to a lecture, you know, like it, it, get, it gets, that, there's a little bit of engagement there, right? And then when you arrive at the office, you know, you make, give, greet salam to your office mate, salam alaikum, alaikum salam. That, 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 those little yeah. bits of interaction, it's actually very... You know, it's very positive actually, you know. There's a lot of optimism yes. there. There's a lot of milestones that by the time you reach your workplace, like stuff are done. Now, working from home, if you don't have a good morning routine, you're like waking up all groggy, switch on your laptop. You know, like it's very... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then It happens to me. <laughs> oh, and yeah? We, yeah, dude, for, for the first, uh, I think for the first three to four months. Yeah. Oh, subhanAllah. Mm. Yeah, that feels really sluggish, yeah. I yeah. I've, I I had to go through that a few times cuz yeah, oh man, it's really bad. I it's really not healthy at all. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> so I think one of the things right, get get to a very good morning routine. There's a book called Make Your Bed. Have you are you aware of that? It's, it's written by an admiral. Can you imagine the whole book is titled Make Your Bed? The idea is start your day off by doing one positive thing. Make your mm. bed. 
at least you tell yourself you've done something good. So exercise is another one. I, I spoke about this idea because I have a colleague uh, in, in our team right now who has this pro- he's struggling with productivity. So yeah, I give him some advice about productive morning routine. So one of the things that he told me is that, yeah, he's tried now. So he's tried watering his plants. Simple, right? Watering oh, your plants, right? Okay. And ever since he started doing that, like the past, I think two or three weeks, it starts to grow. Mashallah. That's like, <laughs> wow, I'm, I, I'm allowing something. I'm contributing to the growth of something. That's really positive, you know? And, and the thing about like exercise, as uh, Reza highlighted, right? That you, it releases endorphins and dopamine, right? You see, what's, when, you, when you, for example, social media also gives you dopamine, right? I think we've spoken about this before. It gives you this pleasure <laughs> chemical, right? But there's a difference between dopamine release from external sources like social media or watching movies or this kind of, or watching YouTube, for example, as opposed to exercise. When exercise, it's your own efforts that produce that pleasure chemical. So you mm. are telling yourself that you're capable of making yourself happy. Ah, you see the difference? Yeah. But if it's social media, you're expecting the world to make you happy. Oh, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. but sometimes it doesn't, right? Social media makes you true, angry, true. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the day, I guess. Huh? Depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think in general, get into a very productive morning routine. Like for example, because what you want to do is by the time you start work, you've already crossed a few things pers- in your personal life. So when you actually start yeah. the work itself, you're like, yeah, you know, worst case, I've got those things done. Maybe you've re- maybe you've spent five minutes reciting Quran, 10 minutes reading a book, whatever it is, like you've got stuff done. So by the time you're, even at your very worst productivity day at the workplace, I still got this morning stuff done. <clears throat> yeah, Mashallah. you know, right? <laughs> so, yeah, this is yeah it's, it's like a small victory in the morning already. Yeah, exactly. And then it, it sets you up for for productivity toward throughout the day, right? Yeah, mashallah. <laughs> no, what I do in the mornings, mornings I, uh, you know, I, we have an infant baby. Alhamdulillah, now. Yeah, so, uh, in the mornings after after I do my subuh or fajr, you know, she will always wake up. You know, during that time. So what I do is that, uh, not not all, not every day, but. Um, most of, most of the most days, I will come down with her. I will take her down with me, and I will change her nappy. You know, I will play with her for a while, and then what I do is I bring her outside. I bring her outside and I oh, have a walk nice, nice. around. Yeah. around oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, because because the breeze, you know, is really nice. You know, yes, yes, yes. And yes. then you get yeah, the morning breeze is the yeah, best, the morning, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Really nice. yeah. And these these were also these are also the times where you see Chinese aunties. You know, she, <laughs> they they're they're walking. <laughs> And then now, I'm thinking to myself, hey, where are the... the, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, yep, yep, yep. not only not only, not only I benefit, my ba- the baby is also benefiting as well, you know. Yeah, I true. find that her her mood, you know, is, is, you know um, becomes better. You know, she doesn't cry a lot, especially in the day, yeah, in the, during the daytime, because yeah. of the exposure, you know, uh, to the early morning s- sunlight and the... The, the breeze, subhanAllah. So, I yeah. think that's that's a really good thing. And the Prophet Sallallahu he, he told us, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, it, mm. it's, it's, it's clear as day that it's, you know, the mornings are filled with barakah. So, mm. yeah. do a lot of the most beneficial things, the, the things that you feel that uh, you, you uh, it deserves a lot of your attention in the mornings itself already because, uh, inshallah, there, there'll be a lot of barakah in it. So, so it's... Mashallah, like <laughs> some uh, some life hack that, <laughs> that it, I think everyone should try at least and see the difference, you know. Yeah. True. Just just one more point, maybe coming back to um, Brother Faisal's point on you know, if you do something positive in the morning, it sets your day, right? It yeah. makes your yeah. most of your day become positive, or even yeah. the whole day is positive, right? So what I fa- found is that when I when I woke up in the uh, when I wake up early in the morning, and you know. The, the the others are still you know they're still in the bed uh they're still in the bedrooms, so what I do is I go to the kitchen and I actually whip, whip something up for breakfast. So I feel like oh yes ah, I yeah. I have done yeah. I've done something you know I yeah, I've yeah, done yeah, something for nice. my family. So yeah it's nice. So so they don't have to you know um, search high and low for for breakfast you know like 
okay, well, what can what would what we have today? Oats again, you know, or cereal. Mm, yeah. At least we have fried rice today, for example. You know, all this craze Allah. about fried rice recently, right? So yeah, you have that. Yeah. It's a craze yeah. about fried rice. Wow, well, okay. Um, uh, oh, I didn't know this as well. Uncle Roger. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the one. That's the one. Uncle Roger. Oh, okay, mashallah. Yeah. <laughs> it was updated. <laughs> yeah, but subhanallah, you know, right? This whole morning routine, right? The Western authors are really picking up to this, you know, like uh, this. Uh, what's his name? Jocko Willing. Have you heard of him? This Navy SEALs guy. He's telling mm-hmm. everyone to wake up 4:30 in the morning. We should. Oh, we should okay. wake up 4:30 for tahajjud, right? <laughs> but, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So, and the thing is, right? And even there's a book about this, uh, Robin Sharma, the 5 a.m. club. And it's interesting because the reason he says is because if you wake up early. And we already wake up early for Fajr anyway. Just don't sleep, yeah? <laughs> right? So, you, you, when you wake up early, right? That's your me time. People are still asleep. This is you, like, you, one hour to yourself, for example. I realize I have that one hour to myself. Imagine in one week, you have seven hours to yourself. In one month, you have 28 hours to yourself. Wow. That's a lot of time. What can you do in 28 hours? There's a lot of things. So, for example, in the book that he, he writes about, it's like 20 minutes of meditation, so-called. 20 minutes of reading and 20 minutes of exercise. Something like that. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, these small things, like, you, you switch it around, like, to, to Quran, reading a book. I find that this is the best time to read a book and, and to recite yeah. Quran. Just short ones. <laughs> like just two or three pages. It's, it's fine. Like, you got something done. Because two or three yeah. pages in, in, uh, in 10 days, it becomes one juice. Yay! Yeah, you know, so exactly. people don't see this, right? It stacks up, and and this is your 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 valuable me time. People see, keep saying, "I don't have my me time." This is the me time for you, and you start yeah. this before you start your job. So it's very empowering. Mashallah. Mashallah, morning routine is the best. Mashallah, and for Muslims, right? You know, when you start with the Quran, it's it's you know baraka upon baraka. You you yes. you do something which is you know trying to get the pleasure of Allah. And of uh, of course, this will be very positive on you, you know. So so this is something that is the best time as well, you know, to reflect on the Quran, to try to memorize the Quran. The mornings are the best time. So so this is something as Muslims we can we can try to pay attention to. Yeah. And also the hufal, the those who those who dedicate their time and energy to memorizing the Quran, they say that the best time to memorize the Quran is actually before Fajr, before mm. <clears throat> before Subuh. Yes. So so there's that. Uh, that that's the 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 barakah effect, if I can say. All about, right. With, yeah. <laughs> Mashallah. Regards Mashallah. to you know the morning. Mashallah. Mashallah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, maybe speaking about uh, family matters, right? So I just a uh, couple of things. So number one, um, just remind for me. I have to remind myself: don't push away our families in the process of us working. So although I have a dedicated room to work from home, like this one right now, actually, I never lock the door. Actually, so I always keep myself available to be interrupted from my son. Let's say he's crying or he's tantrum, he gets upset. I I I, I want to be there for him. So to me, the job. Okay, because it's it's happened actually more than once that I'm presenting something very important and he comes crying. But to me, like, I'll just apologize. Just give me a minute. Just sort things out. Because it's really not that difficult. But when you resume it again, you there's no real damage done, you know? But mm. but to this the perspective of your child, that's a very <laughs> crucial moment, yeah? Like, if for, for you to be there in those moments, it, it means a lot to them. And for you to push them away in those moments, it can also mean, it can also scar them, yeah? Because it's mm-hmm. their experience, you know. And subhanAllah, this is like actually something, one of the side, side lessons of one ayah of the Quran, actually. This is actually Abba Sawa Tawalla. So the Prophet mm. Sallallahu right, turned away from somebody who was seeking his consultation, right? Abdullah bin Umm Maktoum, radiallahu anhu, right? So because the blind man came to him seeking his consultation, because he was he was like seeking it, and the Prophet ﷺ was frowning to him because he was busy giving da'wah to a, to an el, to a senior person. So one of the side lessons that you can take from this is that yeah, sometimes you're so focused on your mission. In the case of the Prophet ﷺ, he was his focused so, mission on giving da'wah to a, a chieftain of the Quraysh, right? So <clears throat> he was so focused on that, but somebody who was needs of help and who has genuine sincerity, you you might have lost that, you know. So mm-hmm. that's something that I, I try to remind myself like, okay, you know, like dunya, like, we, we try our best because the, at the end of the day, one of the biggest reasons we, we seek this risk is to provide for our families, right? Sahih, so, true, true. Like in that process, providing for families, you, 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 
you know, like don't 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 yeah. treat them in that way, you know. So yeah, yeah. yeah this is something that I I try to remind myself. <laughs> Inshallah, because this is something that perhaps when we're in that moment, it's easy to lose sight of what's what's the priority, what's most important, right? Yeah. So it's it's always good to uh, to have that principle, you know, stick with the principle, and yeah, yeah Mashallah, Mashallah. Yeah. And also, last but not least, so I spoke about this earlier on, how how some mothers they feel a lot of guilt. So actually, I hear this more than once in different settings. Yeah, people are saying that, oh, as a mother or as a father, as an as an, as an engineer, I'm constantly feeling guilty. Like when I'm doing my work, I'm feeling guilty. I'm not spending time with my children. When I'm spending time with my children, I'm guilty that I'm abandoning my work. So here's what I advise to my colleagues. Well, guilt can be a good thing. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> so I tell them, okay, listen. There's a positive guilt and there's a destructive guilt, right? Positive guilt makes you strive to improve yourself. That's what you want, because there's also the positive gift guilt of tauba. That the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, "Anadam tauba," that guilt is repentance. Because when you have that that, that feeling of guilt, it kind of strives you to 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 close your your mistakes and rectify them, right? And so even there's a, there's an interesting athar, there's an interesting statement from a companion, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu, radiallahu anhu. He says that a true mu'min, he looks as his sins as if it's a big mountain that's ready to fall at any time. Because he feels the weight of that, the guilt of that, right? So it, it strives to, it, it makes him continuously want to improve. But the sinner, what's his attitude towards sins? He, it's like a fly that comes on his nose and he just brushes it away. Doesn't really give it much thought. So guilt can be a good thing. So what you want to do is you want to try and find ways and like maybe like for example like what we're discussing right now. What are some strategies of work strategies and family strategies that you can arrange to make the best out of it, right? So so that's num- number one, and number two, make sure it doesn't turn into a destructive guilt. Ah, uh, this is a danger. A destructive guilt is when you start saying, "Oh, I'm a lousy mother," or "I'm a lousy father," "lousy husband." When you start doing that. Uh, then you're gonna start to get into very destructive mindsets, and this can really erode into your mental health. Why? Because you you already labeled yourself, right? And then tomorrow the same thing, you're gonna feel the guilt again. You're gonna make it worse. You're gonna make it worse. You're gonna make it worse. So, you know, uh, you have to escape from that. Make sure it's something that's healthy. You try to improve those parts. Uh, it's not an easy thing. You have to recognize that everybody, a lot of people are struggling with this just as you are. It's just that maybe they're not expressing it, right? So try your level best. And actually, I read an article. I think this was in Harvard Business Review. It says, you know, forget the idea about balance. You can never balance. You can never get like fifty percent work, fifty percent family. That's not going to work. What you want to do is the quality time. Like for example, the, the the little time that you have with the family, make sure it's really solid quality time that you're mentally, emotionally present with them. And for example, I think I shared this in another episode about the family man, about the family obligations. The book Positive Discipline teaches us that. You know, when your when your children need it, you just spend 10 minutes playing with them. 10 minutes can transform their mood for the rest of the day. In our heads, we're thinking like to spend time with children is like, oh, this is very time consuming. But if you're really present, right? Five minutes, 10 minutes. Actually, in practice, even five minutes can make a lot of difference. And like once their mood is okay, they can resume your work. So, you know, this, when you get your mind into this kind of thinking, at least you can make that guilt into a productive guilt and not a destructive guilt full of shame. Like, that's just a that's just an advice that I kind of picked up over the over the years. Mashallah, mashallah, that's quite profound. Mashallah. Okay, I guess um, we've spoken uh, a lot about uh, the strategies, and mashallah, there are some great sharing with the brothers. And I guess perhaps we can put a uh, close to the session. Uh, inshallah, if you have more ideas uh, or uh, or Tips do share it with us in our social media page, and perhaps if we find some more material, perhaps there's a part two, but maybe it, uh, it suffices for now, inshallah. And uh, so, brothers, uh, I guess we can we can uh, give our last word to the the topic uh, since uh, looking at our discussion from before. So. Uh, I guess we can co- come with our concluding points for our topic today. So, I would like to invite Brother Shahmi first to uh, mm-hmm. share his uh, thoughts on the topic. Oh, okay. Yeah. So my my last words um, with regards to studying from studying from home um, is that number one, 
Number one, it has its pros and cons. Cons. We have to know that uh, there are positive and negative to what we call working from home or studying from home, right? And as for the the cons, one of the things that I really am worried uh, that this might happen to me or to the to 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 the others as well who are still students and you know having these online classes where you should be. In fact, in classrooms, you know, interacting face to face to your teachers, is that when it comes to exams, you know, you have you, you uh, it's it's concerning that you have this uh, freedom, you know, so to speak, right? Freedom to cheat you know, during exams, oh, okay. right? So this is really really something that has been you know in my mind for quite some time because, you know, to be honest, to be honest, this type of thoughts, you know, it comes it comes to you, mm. so. What 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 do you have to do? You have to brush it away. And how can you brush it away if you don't have, you know, you you, you don't stand on something. You don't have a principle that you hold on to. Yeah, it's true. So, yeah. one of the things we are as Muslims, we need to really drill this in our hearts and minds that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala He He is the All Seeing. He knows what what you uh, He knows everything about you. What you spoke, what you what you speak about, you know, um, during during your you know in privacy or uh, in the open, he knows everything about you. So, and he is also the one who punishes those who you know who who sin. You have to understand this. I know this. I know we all know know this, but really give it a thought. Give it a thought. Read the Quran. You know, as Muslims, I'm talking about the the, the Muslim brothers here and sisters. Read the Quran and ponder upon the uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's you know characteristics, and He is all seeing. When you know this, then inshallah you will have that taqwa. Inshallah, learning by learning the names of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala really you know solidifies that taqwa in, in you. Inshallah, and as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Anta abu Allah ka anna katarah, fa in lam takun tarahu, fa inna hu yarak." So this is ihsan. Ihsan means you know to be excellent in everything you do, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said, uh, um, he said, you know, as if worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala as if He sees you. So what does this mean? When you worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, no, uh, you know, he he uh, do do it as if you are seeing Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, even though that's not possible. But do it as if you are seeing Him. But if you can't, then please know that He, He is all seeing. And he is all knowing that he sees you everywhere you anywhere you are. So, subhanallah, uh, having this in mind during times of exams, right? Really, mm-hmm. really, you know, push me, uh, you know, pr- uh, bring bring us away from this kind of, you know, uh, devilish thoughts. Want to change? Also, like shay- shaitan as well, who is yes. trying to play his tricks there, right? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. My, one might say, you know, you know, what what harm can me can 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 one. You know, uh, just one exam, just one test, right? But yeah. if you indulge yourself in one, then you will indulge yourself on a on the second one, on a and a, on a third one, and it, it it sort of become like an addiction, you know. Subhanallah. Mm-hmm. So may Allah protect us from you know this this kind of uh, bad uh, bad characteristic, and may Allah mm-hmm. subhanahu wa taala grant each and every one of us, you know, the taqwa to do better in our studies and in our work life. Inshallah, that's all from me. Mashallah, mashallah. So basically, yeah, you know, I mean, in any situation, taqwa is the most important ingredient, right? And Sahih. Subhanallah. And it's, and admittedly, this one last last thing. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're saying this not not because we are coming with taqwa every time. You know, For we sure. all, yeah, we we all uh, iman iman goes up and down. We have to acknowledge this that uh, ahlu sunnah wal jamaah they they uh, they they acknowledge that iman. It goes up and down, so so that's our taqwa, and this is why we need friends. We need to be in, uh, we need to be in circles that you know all continuously co- remind each other, remind uh, you know us, and we reminding them with regards to you know Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and the sins and uh, and 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 the rewards that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has prepared for those who believe. Mashallah, Mashallah, Barakallah Fiq. Allah Barak Fiq. So uh, next up, I uh, would like to invite uh, Brother Amir to uh, give some thoughts on uh, today's topic. Inshallah, tafadali akhi. Inshallah, I'll make a 
simple one, yeah. So I think uh, Brother Reza also highlighted this point, like uh, not everybody find it uh, uh, easy during this, uh, during these um, trying times working from home. For those who are maybe struggling with this, yeah. So as a fellow colleagues or family members, we show some empathy. Yeah? We, we, we show that we un- try to understand their struggle yeah? and help them as much as possible. Yeah? Because as we, from this podcast as well, uh, there are real signs of, uh, of depression coming up from this work from home. So we, if, we, if we find from the blessing of Allah that things are a bit more brighter on our side, give them a helping hand. Yeah? And on the positive side, yeah, keep on exploring your potential. So always have this open mind to, to always self-improve. Uh, because the, the, even though we are working from home, that doesn't give us the, the license to change our home into an office. Yeah, <laughs> the, our, our house is, is still the place for our family. Is still the place for for our health. Is still mm. the place for us to connect to Allah. Is still there. Yeah. yeah so you just have to manage it wisely. The best the best person is the one who always who knows to fulfill all the rights of others. So he does it in in the best possible way. Mm. And. Uh, and in the past, there are people who are who in uh, in the, the companions who who grew up in a more devastating environment, but they do not give they not give up, but they they make the best of out of that um, environment that they have. So it's no excuse. It's it's difficult, no doubt. But life is a test. There's no doubt. Yeah. So try your best, make dua to Allah that Allah is our affairs, and inshallah, inshallah, great things can can come from this work from home and uh, period. Inshallah. You just have to try hard and make tawakal to Allah. That's all I have. Barakallah Fiq. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, something, you know, we are always moving from one test to another test. And test does not really mean uh, just being negative things. Tests are also good things, right? So mm-hmm. it's also always uh, beneficial for us to remember this, that we are always in a state of test. And, you know, uh, sometimes you feel that you are going going through a hard test and you know uh, inshallah it will come come good you know like you will come a day that it becomes uh, better for you so so we always as human beings we are always moving between a situation and another situation so this work from home might be different next next year come next year right so we never know so alhamdulillah for for every anything that happens to us that's why they say they say there's this also fake that every e- uh, uh, easiness comes after difficulty, mm, all the mashallah, time. Mashallah, mashallah. So it's it's good Hard to remember say, yeah. that. Mashallah. Jazakallah khairan. Okay, so next up, uh, brother Faisal, uh, last words on any uh, uh, on the topic today, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. So about this thing about working and studying from home, I have to admit it wasn't easy at first, but I kind of got the hang of it. And most of all, after that, that teething phase, you know, that, that phase of difficulties in the beginning, now I've learned to appreciate the wonderful benefits of working from home. That closeness to family, making use of that virtual platform to get more stuff done. So, mashallah, you know, so I think just to remind us as human beings, the reality is we can always find something to complain about, right? If you're working from home, you have something to complain about. You commute to office, you have to something to complain about. You don't have a job being returned, you have something to complain about. You have children who are schooling, you have to, you know, you, have, you don't have children, something to complain. You struggle with your marriage. Human beings are like this, you know? In the insana khuliqa halu'a, like mankind is just created impatient. There are always things that you can complain about, right? But at the same time, there are so many more things that you can find to be grateful about. Right, so sure. this is some things that sometimes we we tend to overlook because maybe I think it's this whole pandemic thing, right? I think this is this whole uh, lockdown thing. So people are starting to get a bit too jaded these days. People are not seeing the benefit, the positive side of many things uh, in our lives. And the reality is, working from home, there are so many positive things. You know, Subhanallah, like <laughs> for me to be be able to witness my son growing up in this toddler phase. Most of the time, being at home, it's a huge ni'ma, man. Like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I so humble. I don't, I don't, I don't envision myself being able to do this if I was working the hustle bustle of maybe Kuala Lumpur, for example. Like, mm. you know, it would be a completely different environment. So there are so many things that I'm grateful for, and as Allah Azza wa Jal says, la in shakartum la azidan nakum. That if you are grateful, I will add more of these favors. So these things that are good, 
like be be grateful to them and Allah will add more barakah in them and those things they are, the, the challenges that you're dealing with come on man the, 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 the challenges are nothing compared to what our prophets the, the righteous predecessors of the past <laughs> what they have dealt with and I have to remind also like what uh, been reminded by brother Reza brother Ami like, this life is a test right so these are just series of tests after test after test and at the same time there are so many good from it as well so let's let's also remind ourselves to be grateful to Allah Azza wa Jal because gratitude itself is actually a positive steps towards inculcating that positive mental health right so may Allah Azza wa Jal bless all of our efforts working from home and studying from home and may Allah make it easy for all of us and all of our families amen 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 barakallahu feek mashallah you well put brother i mean there's so much doom and gloom these days when especially when you look into uh, what's been said in social media and what not yeah. you know it's it's easy to fall into that that crowd but actually it's not productive at all for yeah, yourself it's not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, subhanallah subhanallah so it's it's good it's good remember mashallah you know, barakallahu feek uh, so um, next up uh, brother abdul aziz anything any last words to share I think, um, okay, we humans are social cre- creature, right? We need to mm. interact with each yeah. other. Yeah, as a human. And this work from home thing just make it kind of impossible to get a real interaction with mm. people other than our family at home. Mm. And for me, I I try my best to contact my family because my family, my my. My parents are 700 kilometers, I think, away from me. Miri Kuching, mm. right? Yeah. 12-hour drive. Yeah. I, <laughs> we should... I, I haven't seen them for... I think it's more than two years already. Because of this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Every time... Every time we want to go, but there's, there, there's a lockdown. Setback, and, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And for me... I always look forward for every session Option. of this podcast. <laughs> me too. Uh, <laughs> okay. Because personally, I feel it gives me some kind of mental relief because uh, of our positive mm. interaction, right? Right. Yeah. And mm. I learn a lot. I listen to advice from the brothers. And at least we can communicate by Zoom, video call, yeah, see our yeah. face each other. Right. Can you yeah. imagine... If this happens before all of this technology, yeah, right. Yeah, there's true. always something to be uh, grateful for. Uh, grateful for. Grateful right? for. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. And, alhamdulillah. Um, just have gratitude for for the good things, and we need to be. There is no other advice. It's better than to be sabar and patient during this um, during this test because. Not only is it 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 is, it's not only us, right? It's the whole world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Always have things to be uh, great, grateful. Yeah, that's all for me. Mashallah, barakallah fiq. We just want to pick up. We're in yeah? it. We're in this together, inshallah. Right. Yes, exactly. Just want to pick up and actually on that point, you know, um, sometimes when we are working from home and you know, it feels like we are. Going through it ourselves, but actually, what the brothers mentioned before, you know, everyone is going through the same thing. <laughs> And if you if you just put it into perspective, right, um, as uh, you know, to 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 be the the to look have a positive outlook out of it. Mm. Look to the ones who are lower than you in terms of um, uh, how they are experiencing or how how they are uh, going about things. Uh, like, for example. If your situation you think is bad, there's so many other people who are having a worse yeah. off time than you. You know, a lot of people are. At least you can try to pick up the phone and try to call your any of your friends. Exactly. How are you doing? Yeah. You ask exactly. how are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah, they true. they are similar, right? Yeah. True. Mm, so. True. So it's it's not an easy time, I would say, for for a lot of people, but I would say that uh, to echo for with all the brothers what they have said. Uh, find the little things, and inshallah, that will cultivate uh, gratefulness, especially to Allah. Have good thoughts of Allah. You know, uh, we are all in this together, and and uh, you know, life is a test, as uh, all the brothers have mentioned. So, um, 
we expect this to happen and and make the best out of it you know make the best out of what we can and and do the small things right look at look into the small things for example like uh, what i what i uh, gain from this uh, session today was that the the morning routines are the the deal breaker or what sets the tone for for your day so uh, pay attention to these small things and inshallah you will have a good time working from home so with that um jazakumullah khairan again for listening to uh, our podcast and uh, do share your thoughts and uh, if you have any advice as well uh, we would love to hear from you because uh, we always want to learn and become better from that so inshallah uh, may allah share, uh, share us your experience too right? we exactly, would exactly yeah we, we would, would love, love to, to hear, hear that yeah you know no one are, no one no one faced the same the same ex- no one has the ex- same experience right exactly so, uh, exactly and we are all, also the same as you everyone there out there you know we are mm. we are just average people trying to make sense of uh, all of this so uh, Uh, yeah so if you want to refute us also please feel free to speak <laughs> up and uh, we'll have a conversation yeah yeah true true <laughs> it's, it's, it's the open floor <laughs> because we all want <laughs> to continuously it. learn right so these yeah. are all tactics and probably yeah you know some some things which are better than us so true true yeah. mashallah mashallah just well put so jazakumullah khairan again uh, and uh, may allah uh, give us the best and may allah uh, help us to see the day when when the pandemic is lifted and then we can come back to our normal lives uh back again and may allah make us allow us to make the best of our situation Amen. so jazakumullah khairan and you are listening to the barakah effect podcast uh so we'll end uh, the podcast today with uh subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Okay, brothers and sisters, there you have it. That is all for this week's episode. Now, if you find the episode beneficial for yourself, don't forget to share it on social media pages or share the link on WhatsApp and whatever platform that you have to spread the khair, to spread the goodness, inshallah. And jazakumullahu khaira. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Last but not least, if you do have any feedback, comments and suggestions, do get in touch with us via our Facebook and Instagram pages. Inshallah. Thank you once again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.